All right, good evening, everyone. Been a little bit since we had a solo stream going, not playing Monster Prom or anything else, but it's kind of summer, maybe, depending on where you are. New York isn't really being all that warm. And with finals finally done, we could focus in on the good stuff. Catch it. Starting Animal Crossing, you know, a month or so late after everyone else. Hey, Zen. How you doing? Ugh, man. It's, it feels like it's been forever since I actually played a normal game. Feels like I've been too stuck in uh, multiplayer or very quick, what do you call it, almost like borderline mobile games. Hey, how's your finals going, Zen? Hope they're going well. Good evening, we're so excited to have you here. First, the first to congratulate you on your wise decision to sign up for this adventure. I'll, I'll get voices for them later when I figure something out. Welcome to the check-in counter for your deserted island getaway package. There's so much to look forward to. But first, let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Inc. And I'm Tommy. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Can't fail, just a matter of grades. Oh, that, that's always a very relieving feeling when you don't need to worry. Personally, I, I, I'm at a point where I just it doesn't matter to me as well. Though more from just exhaustion than rather what the actual grades are. We'll be flying to the island with you to help you get settled. Think of us as your partners. We're in it for the long haul. So let's get started, shall we? Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birthday? Ooh. Alright, time to dox myself live on stream. You can't change this. So pick an appropriate name. Okay, Kazar, that's good. down 24 oh that's cool we get to see what's gonna go on with the birthday in about a month yes bizarre bizarre let's see oh yes here you are our next step will be to take a picture of you oh don't worry take as much time as you need to get yourself looking just the way you want we'll be ready when you are I am a dude. Oh, you get to just set what your character wants. Hmm. Is this the first time you could do that? Because I always remember it's basically you get a little quiz thing, and then it kind of decides what you want it, what you look like. Okay. Let's go with kind of ghosty, but it's been in the sun somewhat. It is. Oh. Uh, hair. Very limited on the hair. I guess the hair is just kind of the same for everybody. What we got? We got white hair, we got gray hair. We're going for brown. Uh, yeah, I guess this is fine. Oh, so we get a lot of eyes, but not a lot of hair. Wow, that's a lot of eyes. See, you want to go for sleepy eyes, normal eyes, or anime eyes? I kind of like the sleepy eyes just because that kind of, I feel like that really fits me. Or Pac Man eyes. No, that, that's just a little too weird. Okay, yeah, let's go, let's go for sleepy eyes. Oh, you unlock more hair stars later. Okay. Oh yeah, that makes sense. You just, you know, get stuff as you go along. Nose. Yeah, let's go for the big wide smile. I, I, I like the default triangle nose. Let's go with that. Cheeks. No, we're not going to put anything on the cheeks. Hey, this looks good. Yep, that looks good. Great, you're all set. Let's go ahead and add that picture to your records. 
And now, let's start talking about your new home. So exciting. You see, we're quite proud of the work we've done to help you feel comfortable in your new life. Oh yes, in fact, if you want, you can even experience the seasons the same way you're used to them. What I mean is, we have pilots in both the Northern Hemisphere and Southern Hemisphere. We recommend choosing an island that has the same seasonal pattern as your current home. Tell me, Kazard, where do you live now? Uh, yeah, let's just go across America. Uh, excellent, that information really helps us focus on just the right island for you. So, naturally, we recommend that you lo relocate to an island in the Northern Hemisphere. There are a few more decisions to make. Does that sound okay to you so far? Yeah, I feel like go with the normal weather patterns as we do here. Though, I mean, it feels like we're already flipped in, uh, uh what, flipped in weather. I mean, I, hold, I heard there's like some sort of weather, uh, winter storm or something hitting us, I guess, midway through spring, but it hasn't felt warm at all since the start of the year. Like, I actually had to crank my heat back up today because I felt like I was, like, freezing. Like, I was gonna get, like, frostbite or something. Very good. We have a number of lovely uninhabited islands in the northern hemisphere to choose from. Now then, all of our islands are approximately the same size, and they're all quite natural. So don't worry about whether you'll have enough space or comfort. You can't go wrong. Just follow your instincts and choose an island with a layout that looks appealing. That's how I do it. Let's make some maps for now, but you can choose the best one for your new home. Ooh, let's see, what do we got? Got one that's pretty much sealed off. We got a nice river going here. We got multiple sections. Got another sealed off one. And then we got one, again, sealed off, but it's more to the side instead of uh, completely changes later. Yeah, I remember that from the uh, from the Nintendo Direct, how you pretty much can ge uh, terraform your whole island. Uh, but which one do I want to start with, though, is the question. Oh, wait, uh, yeah, they're all, you got a section just sealing off part of whatever the little leaf icon is. Mm. I kind of like this one with the mountain river. If I'm, re if I'm reading the color, I don't know, this one kind of does have a mountain river too. Hmm. I guess it's pretty much so I want to be on the left or the right. Oh, decisions. No, I'm, I'm vibing with this one on the top, on the top right. Because I, I, I like just how the river kind of starts as a little tiny pond and then flows down. I, I like that. Wonderful choice. <laughs> like the top right, it looks like a pony giving another pony belly nuzzles. Oh, well, hey, it looks like we got good taste. I can't wait to show it off to you. Uh, so before we depart, I have just one final question for you. If you could bring one thing with you to a deserted island, what would it be? Hmm. Sleeping bag, lamp, food, or kill time. Well, I've watched plenty of nature survival shows. So I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm confident enough I could make the top three eventually at some point. I'll take something to kill. I'll bring like a book or a board game or something. Oh, interesting. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, that was just a hypothetical question. Nook Inc. will fully cover all your basic needs. Yes, yes. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The chartered flight for Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package is ready for boarding. Any customers waiting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Come on, let's all let's all board the plane together. Ah, this feels nice setting up. Go on a little island vacation. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking this charter flight as part of Nook Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy a complimentary video presentation about deserted island life. I 
it's, it's feeling like the start of uh, Mario Sunshine. You know, when they're flying on the plane, go to Delfino Island and get the little tour video. Oh man. These graphics look so shiny and so great. Everything's crisp. And I guess the only bad thing is I missed out on all the Easter stuff. Which is show your actual island. Well, no, I can't show your actual island because you haven't built anything yet. Though I guess, yeah, sh doing a little overhead view. Oh, that would be cool if, like, if you're flying and it just shows you looking down. <laughs> Easter was kind of shit. Yeah, I remember hearing you guys talking about just being overflowed with eggs or something. What's the next holiday coming up that they would do? What's, what's coming in summer? Or do we not get anything until Halloween? I mean, there'd be Memorial Day, but I don't know if that's a thing, you know, Japan does if it, for them to include in, you know, a game. Oh, look, a little butterfly. Bug off? Bug hunting competition. Oh. That's not really a holiday, is it? That's just kind of like a, a thing? Four times a year. Oh, who we got? It looks like we got uh, a phoenix of some sort or a peacock. A peacock phoenix. And a guy who I can't see through the text box. We're here! Now, I know you must be incredibly excited to explore your new island or home, but I have one small request. Would you please join us for a short orientation session in the nearby plaza? Ugh, orientation. I hate those. Our fearless leader himself will be giving a presentation, so I'd hate for you to miss it. The other's a koala. Is it? You're heading there right now. We're heading there right now if you'd like to move L to follow us. Oh yeah, I, I, I can see it. Who are you? Lyman. Talk later. Jog now. Let's go. Who are you? Phoebe. We can chat later. I want to see where this is going. Alright, looks like... Looks like we got interesting. Oh yeah, peaches. You know, I've never actually had a peach. Alright, is that everyone? Let's see. Is Phoebe here? And how about Lyman? And there's Kazard, of course. Great, we're all here. I'll turn it over to you, Mr. Milk. Our three adventurers, adventurers are ready to get started. Yes, yes, very good. Let's see, how shall I begin? Yes, of course. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to your new island. My name is Tom Nook, and I'm the founder and president of Nook Inc. Yes, yes. Today is the first day of your new life on this pristine, lovely island, so congratulations. And this is a package deal, hmm? As such, Nook Inc. staff will always be here to support you and assure your comfort and safety. But, first things first, yes, yes. I'd like each of you to choose a spot of your own. It's the first step to putting down some real roots. I'd like you to dream big. I do have certain connections in construction and real estate, and... Um, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's just get started with a simple tent, shall we? Please select your tent from Timmy or Tommy, and then choose a spot to place it. Yeah, I've never actually had a peach IRL. I mean, I'm usually more of a an apple or banana sort of fruit guy. Though I've had orange. You occasionally get orange. Also, dragon fruit. I've seen dragon fruit sometimes at my local stores, and it's it's kind of interesting because it looks funky, but I can't really put a taste to it. Like, I think it's just one of those neutral fruits. But it's like the most strange-looking thing. Hey, you go, Zard, your very own tent. Once you find the perfect spot, press X to access your inventory, then select your tent to place it. Don't worry, you'll get a chance to see what it looks like before making your final decision. And you want a little breathing room. Just take your time finding a space that works for you. Oh, I suppose I should probably set you up with a map too. Have not rain fruit before. Yeah, there we go, we can do a... They're still trendy? I, I mean, I saw someone do a tier list what, last week or something? I mean, I don't know if they were being memey with it, but 
still a thing. Why don't, you, why don't you pull up your tent? Please find a way back here and use your new map if you need it. Well, off you go. I hope you find a great spot. Oh. Can I move the map placement, I wonder? Because I got a stack of stuff blocking my screen. I just got crane around uh, my stack, my stack of games that's blocking my TV right now. I don't know what you're thinking about. Yo, I'm Wyman. You're Kazarin, right? Nice to meet ya, Chips. So, find a good place for a tent. I want to pitch mine somewhere close to nature so I can trade my body and my soul, Chips. Oh, wait, so, so I'm getting that's his catchphrase, but it, it, just saying chips sounds so weird. You're wait, I got it. Don't don't tell me. Don't tell me. You're Kazard, right? See, told you I had it. I'm Phoebe. I gotta tell you, I'm excited to do this whole island thing, Sparky. So it's like a full map and bubble deciding where to set up our tents. I mean, it's, it's a pretty big decision. Of course, no matter where we settle down on this little island, at least we'll be neighbors. Okay, now let me look at my map again. Hmm. Oh, okay, we can, we can move the camera around. Or at least uh, change the angle, let's see. They can either maybe somewhere around here. Uh, I can't pick up stuff yet. Be somewhere around here, kind of open. I'm thinking maybe in, uh, 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 in the river bend. Over on the other side of the island. Oh, okay. We can run. Like, maybe somewhere around here. I mean, just the star. I mean, I think we can move the stuff, right? I mean, if we can terraform the whole island, we can move our house, probably. So... Like, right here. Build here. Should I put my... Ooh, wow, yeah. got Alright, let me move back just by like one tile. Put my tent here. No, I let, let me move up one tile. There we go, just about here. There we go, that looks perfect. Oh, thanks for the follow, Totakiki Island. And thanks for watching. Should I put my tent here? Yep. Yeah, that looks good. That's a good spot. Let me imagine it. Yeah. Got the tree perfectly blocking the view. We'll have to do a little landscaping. We'll make this work. Go ahead. Yeah. I set up my tent. That's a big first step. Can we go inside? Milk still needs to tell me a few things, so I'll check this out later. Uh. Alright. Head back over. Hey, Tom. Ah, Kazar. What's a found a suitable spot for your tent, hmm? You're the first one back. I suppose the others must still be searching for just the right location. You know, since you've already done some scouting, others may appreciate your assistance. Yes, yes. So do we help the others? We tell them where to set up? Oh, wow, look at those eyebrows. You already, you already set up your tent, huh? I'm still trying to find the perfect spot. I'm like doing some serious cardio, so it's gotta have lots of fresh air. Well, I mean, we're on an island. It's literally only fresh air you can get here. I think this spot will do the trick. But I don't know. What do you think, Kazard? You know, I'll let. I'll, mm. Dang, I can't remember where it was on the map. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll just um, I'll just let have this spot. You think so? Awesome. Okay then. How about we do a little visualization exercise together? If I put my tent here, pretty cool, right? Yeah, that looks good. All right, looks like we have a winner. Let me put down some stakes right here and never look back, chips. 
That was a tough decision. We totally saved my glutes. I wonder how that Phoebe is doing. Phoebe is having as much trouble as I would. Maybe you should go see if she needs help. Here, now let me look at the map first. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna move here. I'm gonna move your spot. Oh, I found a good spot, huh? I was just trying to feel like the best spot. I was having trouble because every spot feels like the best one. I'm just gonna sit here thinking over it forever. So I grabbed a stick and threw it. And here's where it landed. Now this is my spot. Okay, I know there's only so far I can throw a stick, but I'm liking this. No, now no, I'm gonna find a spot. Oh, for real? You're gonna pick out the perfect spot for me? You do that, you do that for someone you just met? You know, you're alright, Gazard. In that case, here you go. It's your show now, Sparky. You go pick out the perfect spot for the tent I gave you. We'll go wait at the plaza in the meantime, okay? Okay. We'll put you in that other little bend. Leave lying and all by his own. Moving it just because it was like way too in the middle of stuff. Yeah, put it like right around here. Put Phoebe saying, Oh, yeah, that kind of fits. It. Wait, let me move over one just to keep that peach tree there. You know, just in case it was like right next to it, I don't want to like delete it by accident. We put Phoebe's tent here, let's imagine. There, there we go, perfect. Should we go ahead? Yeah. Careful about losing that rock. I, I don't think I lost that rock. Why, why do I have to be careful? Phoebe's got a place for her tent now. Looks like everyone has a spot picked out for their tents now. I need to get back to the plaza. I mean, it looked like it was still there. I saw part of a rock. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you all found just the right spots to set up your new homes. Of course, you can sleep on it for a while, hmm? Really get a feel for how it suits you. Now, with that taken care of, we can move on to more serious business. Like throwing an island warning party. We'll have it right here in the plaza with a roaring campfire. Ah, oh, man, a campfire sounds nice. It sounds comfy. We'll just need a few supplies to get started, yes? Yeah, right. We need uh, graham crackers, marshmallows, chocolate, a bunch of sticks. Let's all be living here together. This will be a good test of our teamwork. Let's see. Timmy, Phoebe, Tommy, and Lyman can set up things here in the plaza. Kazar, you get all the grunt work. Meanwhile, Kazar and I will get a work in gathering firewood and perhaps a little snack. Oh, okay, so Tom's helping me now. All right, everyone. Let's get to it. Kazar, would you come see me for a moment? Ah, Kazar, I just wanted to go over what we'll need for the campfire. I think roughly ten tree branches should do the trick. You can find them scattered about the island. So when you find one lying on the ground, just press Y to pick it up. Meanwhile, I'll investigate the peach-like items growing in the trees. I suspect they're real peaches. I mean, even if that's like a joke, that just makes you sound really stupid. Way to get those materials! This campfire's gonna be crackling in no time, Sparky. I love camping. I pumped to get everything ready, Chips. What are these guys doing? I'd appreciate if you hold on to eight weeds and pull up all your gathering branches. In the near future, we'll want to buy them from you. Any tree branches you find on the ground or shake out trees will work fine, ju just fine for the campfire. Okay, there we go, got a branch. Oh, and we can shake the trees. Okay, let's go. Oh, was that the weed? Oh, oh, these are all weeds. I thought some of this was like grass. I guess I'll pick the ugly one. Oh, 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 I'll get that later. Let's get let's get the sticks. Let's, let's get our fire going. Okay, we have. Okay, no, the rock is gone. 
Well then. I'm guessing rocks are a valuable resource. I hope that wasn't the only boulder we had. Can I go in my tent now? Tom Hook still needs to tell me if you... Okay. Music's got that... It's nice and calming. Really like the music, you know. Oh, here we go. We got a rock here. All right, we're good. You know, just this very calm, comfy music like this in Harvest Room had. You know, just just really sink away into it. Let's see. Don't know how many sticks we have. But I guess we'll just pick up every stick. Don't leave any branches lying around. You don't want people tripping over anything. Oh, I could put Lyman's house over here so he had this, like, nice rock spot to, to, like, do martial arts on, like Karate Kid or something. Eh, worry about that later. Gotta get every branch. Alright, there's a branch, I think there is. Oh, no, no, he's, he's got, no, he can't walk on those, definitely. I'll get this rock. Can I pick up the peach myself? Oh, yes, we can. Let's see, let's examine. Yes, those peach-like objects. Wait. Peaches? Question mark? Hmm. These peach-like fruit that were found in the trees. We don't know if they're peaches yet or not. Right. Okay, yeah, we got 19. We got more than enough. You can put houses on sand, apparently. Oh, really interesting. You can get a beach house going. Oh, good, good. Bizarre. Looks like you managed to collect up the tree branches, hmm? You found even more than I asked. I only need ten, but I'm sure you'll find a good use for the rest. Well, yeah, you need kindling to keep the fire going, man. And if we're gonna do spores, you need sticks to hold them up. Boy, you gonna roast them in your hands? I'll take what we need off your hands now. Yes, yes, that should be plenty for a campfire. You made quick work of that. I'm quite glad that I'll be sharing this desolate island with such a hard worker. Oh ho. And speaking of surviving on a desolate island, our, ne our next task is to round up something to snack on. While you were collecting branches, I was evaluating the fruit that seems to be abundant here. They look like peaches, they smell like peaches, and they even taste like peaches. In fact, they are 100% without a doubt genuine peaches. So, will you collect six of them for me? Wow, how surprising. Now, I'm sure you don't need much guidance here, but just in case... See a tree growing peaches, you can press A to shake it, then just pick the fruit up. I'm sure we have plenty of peaches for us all in no time. Oh, I missed the branch. It was hiding in the shadows. And then I already got three, so I'll, I'll just grab extra. Why not? Well, well, I knew you were the right one for the job. Thank you, once again. Let's go ahead and take those peaches off your hand and get started on the preparations. Alright, let's get, let's see that campfire. Oh, they, they built it really big. Now, is that everything? Yes, yes, I believe it is. Let's get started with the festivities. Allow me to properly welcome you to your new island. I have participated in many ventures and endeavors over the years. Not Smash, though. But this may be the most exciting. Helping develop a thriving new community entirely from scratch will truly test my business acumen. And perhaps my skills as an outdoorsman, hmm? Uh -huh. Now, we may not have the kind of numbers that I originally envisioned. But that just means we'll have to rise to the challenge. I have no doubt that, with hard work and perseverance, we'll shape this deserted island into... Hmm. I suppose we can't call this a, des a deserted island anymore, hmm? But what should we call it? I said it's a great opportunity. As the first residents on this island, we should be the ones to name it. And in the spirit of democracy, we should put it to a vote. Majority rules, hmm? 
So take a little time to think, and when everyone is ready, I'll present your ideas. Uh, let's see, names. Name for a, well. Let's see, let's, let's look at RuneScape, since, you know, that's where I got my name from. Let's see, there's Karamja, there's Miscellanea. It's mostly harmless. How many spaces can we put? <laughs> oh, can't put that many. Hmm. No, let, let, let's go. Let, let's go with Entrana, the Monk Island. That's all nice and peaceful, and you're not allowed to bring weapons on. That's that's fitting for this. <laughs> Poor Kazar. Uh, I could. But it's not, it's not enough of a port. Let's go for Trana Island. Or Isle. The world of Animal Crossing is welcoming to all, so don't include personal info or offensive words. Alright, is everyone ready? Home of glass, bl glass blowing and the Law Ruin Altar. That's the main thing Trana Island was used for. Basically the only thing Trana was used for, aside from one quest. Man, I remember doing Law Rune running, just running Rune Essence over to there and just go to people and be like, okay, hop on the altar, hop out, here's your Law Runes. Man, thinking back to old RuneScape, just how much of a cycle some things were, but just how people just worked together and, like, just default, like, people just set that up. Alright, is everyone ready? Let's try saying our ideas all at the same time. Oh, that's a great way to understand them. Ready, go! Entrana! Oh! Rackland, Bellevue, Buff... Ah, oh, I didn't see Phoebe's. Hers was really long, though. What splendid variety! Yes, yes. Each one a potential gem. Now for the voting. I'll say each name in order, and you can clap for the one you think is best. Zard seems to have the enthusiasm and the naming sensibilities. Let's start there. So, Kazard suggested Mentrana. Wow. Everybody but no club here. Wow, that's an overwhelmingly positive response. Each and every one of you clapped. I suppose everyone is in agreement. We should just go with Mentrana. Splendid. Then from now on, this island will be known as Mentrana. Well, Kazard, but you've proven yourself by naming Entrana. I'd like to rely on you for other critical decisions we'll need to make on this island. Yes, yes. I hereby name you the resident representative of Entrana. Wow, we just started and we're already the boss. Kazard, could you please say a word or two as the new spokesperson for your neighbors? <laughs> a word or two. You, you gotta go with the bad jokes. Mm, so, we settled on a name for our island, and we selected a resident representative. It's been a big day, but it's gotten rather late, so let's have a toast. <laughs> we just all got like little j prepared jars of chocolate milk. Everyone have a beverage in hand? It's fresh juice made from peaches. Oh, okay, they're pe it's peach juice. Our new resident representative harvested on this very island. And without further ado, a toast to Entrana and the happiness of his residence. Cheers! Now, oh, that's a nice little community. Sitting around the campfire with cups of peach juice, it almost feels like we're family. You can call me bro. I've never settled on an island before. And Trana, this is gonna be rad, Sparky. Ah, oh, we can't turn the camera around to the side. We can like go up or down. Oh, a nice shot of the sky. And Trana, and Trana. What a great name. Just rolls off the tongue. Thank you for offering such a wonderful idea to the group. Let this campfire burn for the rest of the night. Feel free to rest in your tent if you start to feel tired. 
Uh, before you do that, though, there's something we need to give you. Please talk to Mr. Nook about it. Ah, bizarre. Having a good time, yes? I know this is a little bit much. But if you feel like taking a short nap in your tent, by all means, go ahead. We'll keep the fire burning. Not tired yet. I just started. Of course, you work hard and you play hard, hmm? By all means, carry on. Just stop by and see me for a quick check before you turn in. I have something to give you. Alright, what is it? Come on. Ah, sorry. Have a good time, yes? I know this is all a bit much. But if you like taking a short nap at your tent, by all means, go ahead. Look at No. So no, yeah, plenty of energy. Well, enjoy the moment. Stop by. Okay. I guess we'll just walk away for a bit. Don't look around. Here. Huh. First things first, I need to do. I can make this island a home. Oh yeah, let, let's check out our tent now that we actually can. Big beach. Ooh! Crab, crab, why can't I pick up crab? What the? Oh, they're, they're like little snails or oysters or something, aren't they? Ooh! Ooh, scorpion. Okay, yeah, I think I should avoid that. I don't have a net. It's probably Chowatum. I was just talking to Tom Nook. Oops. Scorpion's getting real close to camp. Ah, I can already have a good time, yeah. That's all that much. I feel like taking a short nap. Okay, you know what? I, I guess I'll take the nap. Sounds good to me. But first, you'll probably want this. It's your very own camping pot. You'll want to set it up in your tent before you lie down. Oh, there are a few packages waiting in your tent as well. Hmm? Just a few items I thought might be useful. Go for packages and use things inside. Just press A. Oh, you're ready. You can move L to crawl into bed. We've got another big day ahead of us tomorrow, so rest up as much as you can tonight. Yes, yes. That's all for me for now. Sweet dreams, Kassar. Two packages, a radio, oh, and a lamp. Okay, let's push you. Actually, no, wait. Put you over here, right by the lamp. Throw that down. right there. So all our stuff is. Oh wait. Hold on. No. Yeah, I can't, I can't reach the lamp with that. Okay, we'll place it here. There we go. Welcome Horizons is currently playing. Yeah, we'll leave that on. Guess we'll take our nap. Rest my head for a little while? Yes. Let's rest. I'm getting sleepy. Alright. Oh. Hey, KK Slider. So, looks like you decided to make your own way into the world. Get out there. Get out there, explore new frontiers. That's all the right way, Daddy-o. You don't need to live by anyone's rules but your own. The world's made for exploring, you know? Living free, being out there, it's a great feeling. Yeah, but take from a cat who's been on the road, but being your own... Being by your lonesome can grind on the soul. You gotta, make, you gotta make friends along the way. Rambling this crazy world as squares fill without some pals. Yeah, man. Friends are where it's at. 
Speaking of rambling, I'm doing a bit of that myself. My bad. Maybe it's about time for you to wake up to your new life. Oh, well, listen up. The rap I just gave you about friends, it's pretty key. You'll dig this out of life a whole lot more if you share it with some friends, if that's your scene. Yeah, I'm out in paradise with your best pal. Sounds pretty groovy to me. Cool. When you wake up, you'll be in sync with real time. Dig that out of life. I'll catch you later. KK Slider's so cool. Gizard, are you in there? Oh, I hope I haven't woken you abruptly. Uh, but I do wish to discuss something with you. Yes, yes, I'll be here when you're ready. I mean, to be honest, where else would I be if you went to my tent and I wasn't in there? I feel like that would cause panic because this island is very small. Ah, there you are. Hope you had a pleasant nap. Or, well, I suppose it was a bit more than a nap, wasn't it? It's a brand new day! Whoa, I slept that long? Nah, I needed that. Got, gotta get your baby to sleep. It's big enough to house a whole bunch of... Big enough to house a whole bunch of tents. Well, yes, but, you know, it's... Sh you think... If you couldn't find somebody and there's very limited space with the river there... You know, you'd be concerned. And it's not like there's anywhere for a creature to hide or something. Oh ho ho. Yes, it's quite normal to be worn out from such a long trip. And a major life event. Speaking of which, I have a few more things that you might find useful as you adjust to life in our little paradise. First, you'll need one of these, yes? A smartphone? It's your very own Nook phone. I had these made especially for island residents. Uh, I want to make sure it's working right, so... Could you try turning it on for me, hmm? You know, this technically qualifies as the first smartphone I have ever owned. So I'm still rocking the flip phone. Good, good. Looks like you're getting good reception as well. Okay, feel free to put it away now. What, you can put smartphones away now? <laughs> Say, Kazard, have you ever used a smartphone before? Nope. <laughs> I never have. Is that so? How wonderful of you. I dare say, you seem especially well suited for life on this rustic island. Wow, thanks, a compliment on that for once. Nevertheless, I believe you'll find this phone quite handy, so do take the time to learn how to use it. I have just one more thing for you. Ah, paper. It's your itemized bill. So, this includes everything. Airfare, airfare, accommodations, labor, tax, and of course your Nook phone, hmm? For your grand total to the modest sum of 49,800 bells. What are bells? <laughs> oh, good one, Kazar. Wait, you're being serious? Did that scorpion out there sneak into your tent and bite you or something? Yes, of course. I, I, I can't believe I didn't think of this. Well, bells are a currency that can be exchanged for goods or services here on Entrana. Ah, but there's still the problem that you don't actually have any. Yes, of course. Well, no, no need to worry. I was prepared for exactly this type of tricky situation. For the getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of the standard bells. I call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Nook Mileage? Well, it's quite extraordinary, if I do say so myself. But the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles by simply living your life here on Entrana. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the, nor the more Nook Miles you can earn. You can use them to pay back your moving fees, and much more. So the bottom line is, you'll need 49,800 bells to pay your move-in fees, but with this new service, would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles! I'll just, uh, you know, go, go ahead and register so you can pay in miles. Yes, yes. But there are more details available within your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. And you'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. 
Nice, he's got that sign up fee. That's where he gets you. Now, now, if you'll excuse me, I'll be, I'll get back to the few other matters. Let me heartily congratulate you once again on your arrival. I'm so happy to have you as a resident of Atrana and a client of Nook Inc. My new life is underway. I can do whatever I want, and to, except I'm stuck as a slave to Nook. Woohoo! From now on, Isle and Time will match the flow of time in the real world. Do not touch the power button when you see the autosave indicator in the top right corner. You can also save and quit your game by after pressing minus. Ooh, oh, that's weird, the, the pinging vibrating my controllers. Okay, mail, what do we got? Nintendo. Kazar, thank you for downloading the update. We'd like to give you a president a present to show our appreciation. Please remember to keep an eye on our future updates as well. Place in pocket. Sorry, congratulations on your big move. We, like, we hope you enjoy your new island life. To celebrate the fresh start, we'll give you a gift that's sure to come in handy. Thank you for that. Okay, so what I get for my presents? For the download, we got a world map. And for starting up, we got a simple do-it-yourself workbench. Okay, learn. Is this a DIY recipe? I wonder how I can memorize it. Of course, we have to go on YouTube and look it up. Just, like, looking up how to make your own bread and do so many other basic things that people are figuring out for the first time now. Can't hang things... Why are you giving me things I can't use? <laughs> a present. Okay. Let's, let's look at our phone. Camera, take pictures using various filters and effects. Save to the album on the home menu. Okay. Oh, it's just, you know, it just stays up. We can still move around with it. Wow, that's kind of interesting. Okay. Oh, man. I'm going to need to get, like, a SD card reader if I want to get photos off my Switch now, because this com new computer doesn't have any. All right, Nook Miles. You've enrolled in the Nook Mileage program. Earn Nook Miles for completing island activities. Then trade those miles for various perks and goods at the Nook Stop. Sh stop. God, I'm trying to read that shop. And the Resident Services Center. Make the most out of island life. Earn a Nook Miles. And Tron Miles. You've traveled a long way just to move into our little island. So you enrolled in the Nook Mileage program. So you've earned your first miles. There are lots of ways to earn miles just by enjoying island life. Oh, we got 500. Anglin. Okay, so we got fishing. Oh, we just got talking. And we got bugs. And flowers. And fruit. And shells. I've heard... How, how many of these are there? Customized profile. Uh, bulletin board. All right. Exterior. Okay, furniture outside. Make custom design. Okay, that's it. Custom designs. Within this app, you can create custom designs to wear on clothing and display around the island. When you save custom designs to the app, you can share them with other re island residents. There's a chance that your custom designs will be seen by play other players during network play sessions when you visit another island, for example. Don't create things that fringe on others' rights. Don't use private information, yours or anyone else's, or offensive words or images. Wait, how many can we put in here? Oh, we could put quite a lot. I remember past games, you, if you did custom stuff, you really couldn't have all that many. You could have like eight at most. Map. Check the map for your current location. Just press X to change the settings and choose whether to display the mini-map during day-to-day -day activities. I wish I could move the mini-map. Passport. Your passport information is shown here. This information may be seen by other players when visiting other islands, for example. You can change the photo type, your photo, title, or comment at any time. Customize them. Show off play style. Okay, picture. Okay, now I don't want to take a photo. Comment. Okay, let's do the obvious thing.
see, we got a brand. <laughs> what a title. What can we put for title? Yeah, what, what we got for here? Uh, 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 uh. I feel like we probably have a lot more of these too, right? Yeah, let's, just, let's just stick with the deserted island dweller. Rescue service. Use the service for emergency situation on the island when your path is blocked and you're stuck. Get more tales as things goes on. Okay, so I was right then. We said to a place such as your home or resident services. Nook miles are generally required to use that. Can you really get stuck that easily? I mean, you know, good on Nintendo for thinking ahead, but feels odd that there's a, a stuck that it is possible just to get stuck to begin with edit credit you your passport has some information you can edit nook inc will give you miles for folks who customize profiles take it slow think about it make your own oh, only 300 okay well we gotta sell if there's one thing for selling fruit let's grab a bunch of fruit I mean, probably shouldn't grab- well, no, there's peaches in the back, so we can just grab a bunch. Uh, extra weeds, too. Probably do that, just run around and get all the weeds out. Oh. Hey, what's that- what's that you got there? Yo, uh, I'm the Yo, I'm pumped that I left that spot you helped me pick out for my tent. Thanks for the push. Oh, we can keep looking out for each other like this. It's good to have buddies, Chips. Oh, right. I got something here for you, Chips. Thanks again for for finding a place for my place. A hat. That plain cap is perfect for Entrana. You can try it out by pressing X to open up your pockets. Then press X A to select the item you want. Choose where if you want to put it on. You can always change it later if you need to work out, Chips. You now it's kind of funny. A plain hat actually does work for Entrana. Ooh, wow, that actually goes with her outfit. Nice, we're looking spiffy. What she got? She's carrying a little stick. Yo, Kazard, I'm getting a real good vibe from the tent plot you picked for me. Thanks for the hand. Now look out for each other here. If you ever need anything, don't be shy, Sparky. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about how to thank you. And I came up with a recipe for a leaf umbrella. All right, so the first thing I thought when I got here was, now that's a lot of weeds. That's kind of where I got the idea. It's a DIY project that uses weeds. If you've never done a DIY project before, you should ask Tom Nook to help you out. He's doing free DIY demos over at Resident Services. It's a good thing I've been picking up all those weeds. One of the goals of Nook Inc. is resident togetherness. Our gregarious greetings initiative aims to reward you with Nook Miles just for chatting with your neighbors. Try to talk to all your neighbors every day. Nice. Oh yeah, we got our titles from that. Okay, so it looks like we're getting miles really quickly, so we could probably pay off with miles, but I want to pay off the first thing with bells. Miles almost seems like cheating. I mean, it's like they took this simple game and just casualized it. You want to constantly be asking Nook what to do next until he stops giving you things to do. That's how you progress the story. Huh, story in an Animal Crossing, how bizarre. Ah, Kazard, welcome, welcome. As you can see, it's quite cozy here. It's funny how cozy doesn't always be comfortable, hmm? Let me know if you need advice on how to spend your time on this island, or anything else. If you need some advice about basic island materials, you should talk to Timmy. He can help you procure some of the essentials for thriving in our little paradise. And if you want to earn some bells, he has a rather generous policy of purchasing just about everything. He, he has a problem, we're trying to help him through it. Not strictly advisable from a business perspective, but quite generous. Yes, yes. Oh, one more important thing. I'm offering a free DIY workshop that you can 
that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it'll be quite useful, so I do hope you take me up on it, hmm? Okay, which one's Timmy and which one's Tommy? All you Tanookis look the same to me. Ah, welcome, welcome. You don't waste any time, do you? Uh-huh. We're still staying up, but for starters, we intend to offer a small selection of goods for our island residents. Space is limited right now, but we'll have to try to find some fresh stock each and every day. I'm sure you're busy, but feel free to look at some of the items we're thinking of selling. Alright, what you got so far? Great! We got a chair, and we got a smoker. I can't afford either. I am broke. Anything catch your eye? We're not just sellers. We'll also buy things from you, including stuff gathered on the island. And because we want to support efforts to beautify the island, I even pay you a little bit in return for any weeds or trash you bring in. If you want to know whether we'll buy something, just ask. What's this? Oh, that's still a need to forget. I need to give you a brief introduction to that box there. I mean, yeah, it looks like a mystery box. It's got a question mark and everything. This is a recycle box for all the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, yes. If you see anything you like, feel free to take it right on home. So it is a mystery box. You'll never know what's inside. If the box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first. So don't delay in picking out what you want. Ooh, a cardboard box! I always wanted one of those. Oh, Kazar, it's great to see you. That campfire was a lot of fun. We're here all night, so free, feel free to stop by if you need to talk about anything island related. Also, I'll be out and about during the day checking in with everyone, seeing how folks are doing. If you're ever unsure about what you should do, don't hesitate to stop me for a chat. Okay, Tom, give me that uh, lesson. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Wow, you're made entirely of ears? About that workshop. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for our life. Hmm? So, shall I put you down for the next available session? What does DIY mean? Oh, of course. DIY is short for do-it-yourself. It's a way for you to create your own goods, like furniture and tools, from scratch. No king has never given away something of such value for free before, but uh, it's a new world. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all yours. Okay, workshop. Yeah, sign me up for it. They can keep their own tools. Yada yada. Yes, I'd love to. Yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I'm going to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. Yay, yeah, just getting right into it. Did we really need that, uh, that, that fade there? Was that very intensive amount to load? Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit, hmm? When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. So today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere, yes? For this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me when you collected the materials, hmm? Ha! Huh. Alright, hey you. Ah, Kazarn, found the necessary materials, hmm? Well then, let's get started on crafting that fishing rod. Yes, yes. So we can just select the project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. Alright. Okay, flimsy fishing rod. Wow, it's flimsy real right in the name. Wait, where are we getting the rope from? Alright, craft it. Wait, it's a one by one up in the corner there. Do we have does that mean multiple things take up more spaces in your inventory? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Let's make a rod. I made a flimsy fishing rod! Yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes, hmm? It's ground space if you place- Oh, okay. As you can see, crafting is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes, hmm? And that concludes my free DIY workshop. 
Oh, uh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you. Free of charge, naturally. I'll just send them to you on your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? God, we're using the smartphones for everything. What are we, millennials? Oh, I wasn't expecting my controllers to buzz. Splendid. Thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use anytime. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Speaking of fishing, I'm no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips, hmm? My experience, you should really aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I'd love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. Alright. Hey, well, let's look at my recipes. Check this app for info on the DIY recipes you collected. You can also register frequently crafted items as favorites. Make good use of it while you DIY. Okay, we can make a net and a fire, but we'll need more branches. Wait. Oh, that's just showing me. I can't actually craft it on those. Okay, I was wondering why A wasn't working. Nice DIY. And getting tools. Any more things open up? Nope. Okay. Oh, wait. Right, we've got. Oh, I wanted to craft the net. Maybe I'll run out to grab more branches, but it's like, no, we can make the net now and then just make the fire later. Okay, let me back in. Yes, craft something. So, campfire. So, it looks like everything is a max of 3x3. Three three. So, that's a good way to play out when you want to play stuff. I like Tom's clapping, he's just slapping his chest because he doesn't want to put down his drink. She's using that girth for something. Okay. Oh, and here's the bulletin board. Oh, there goes the owl. Owl bulletin board. We'll use this board to post important notices and other useful bits of information for everyone. Yes, yes. Island residents and visitors alike should feel free to use the bulletin board to communicate with each other, celebrate special events, and more. Okay, so let's let's learn our stuff. Huh, okay. Sweet! I learned a DIY recipe for a simple DIY workbench. Oh, so I can use that to go and make my own bench so I don't have to keep using nooks then, right? Huh, okay. Sweet! I learned a recipe for a leaf umbrella. Okay, so I guess we'll catch some fish since uh, Nook wants some, and we'll grab a bunch of weeds as we go around too. Okay. No. Hold the rod. Oh, wow, look at that water. Place it indoors and outdoors. Cool, so we can just throw it outside our tent to make it easier. What? Why can't I throw it out? Do you- oh, do you really have to be right next to the water? Well, that's already, you know, a disappointment from the older games. We could be back a bit, just as long as the thing would still land in the water. There we go. Got a fish. Ooh. Yes! I caught a red snapper. It looks pretty dapper. Ah, the best part of Animal Crossing. All the puns you get from catching it, uh, from catching your fish and bugs. I wonder how long the, the writers spend on that. Dude, that's gotta be like a massive endeavor to be making those. Let's get all these weeds out of the way in the house. of them. Love for that to be... Yeah, that would just be like... Well, I mean, the translating any game would be cool to have for a job. Like, uh, 
I was reading recently, you know, with Final Fantasy VII Remake coming out, I was reading a thing about, uh, you know, tra uh, translation packages for the original Final Fantasy VII, because people, you know, look at that again. And a lot of them, you know, I was kind of talking about how, like, one guy for, uh, I think... Oh, wait, no, I think this was a guy for Final Fantasy VI. Like, a lot of the, like, charm and sort of extra stuff, like Kefka kind of being a little unhinged and stuff and kind of crazy, was by the localization guy and not the original draft. It'd be cool to just be like... I mean, just localization is an interesting job, just as long as you, you know, actually translate it, you know, and have, kind of keep the original intent and not, like, some of the games, like those uh, Fire Emblem games that had a lot of stuff cut for whatever reason. It's basically something kind of to put your own uh, ideas aside and just be like, well, we'll be an entertaining game and not just entertaining to yourself. Yes, we caught Nemo. We caught Clownfish. How many can fit in a carfish? <laughs> oh, Oh, this is a nice spot too. Look at that. You got a little peninsula. Ooh. Oh, oh, those were bugs. I thought that was like a cluster of shells or something. Like like rock weeds. Like you know, barn barnacles or something, you know, you scrape them up. Oh, got another clownfish. Where's the sea bass, man? Okay, so eventually we'll get to the other side of that island, but until then we'll just have to focus on clearing this whole side, and then we'll clear up the next whole side. Get some more peaches. I think the Nick Miles was like, what, 10 peaches sell them? How many do I got? Nine? Fruit trees grow back, right? Like when you shake the fruit off a tree, uh, the fruit grows back after a little bit, and it's not just like, oh my god, look at the size of that fish. That fish is massive. Okay, now that's that's not gonna get in his way. You're not gonna see that. There we go. Come on. That okay, fish behind him now. Come on, big boy, grab it. Come on, you want that bit? He turned away. He, he just straight up looked away from it. <sighs> okay. Oh, great. Now it's, it's going to go in front of my head. I won't be able to see it. It's like some smart fish or something. Okay. Okay, he, he'll see it. He'll look at it. Come on. I pulled it too early. Ah, uh -huh. no! I lost the big fish. He, he won. I got outsmarted by a fish. God, now I feel like an insult. Okay, two to three days to get uh, for fruit to grow back. All right, so I don't have to like worry about emptying it all. Let's see, is there another big fish around here somewhere? Now, tenth, I'm looking for a fish. No, I gotta wonder now, since this game has an autosave feature, does that mean Rossetti is no longer a thing? I miss him. Or, I, I mean, if he's not, I'm gonna miss him. That was fun in the original game, just seeing him just progressively get madder and madder to the point of having a heart attack and nearly dying when he goes to try to break down your house. Spam Y, but we'll pick up if there's anything back here. Okay, fish. Where are you, fish? Hey, Phoebe. Ah, we keep meeting up. So, uh, man, has been treating you well, Sparky? Let's chat. I'm, where are you on that? I kind of moved here on a whim. I'm not sure I brought enough bells with me, Sparky. Like, you hear deserted island and think you're not even gonna need money. Yeah, I need a plan. Hmm. I think you get bells just by selling seasonal beads and stuff to Timmy. 
If I do that, maybe I'll be all right. All right, I'll leave you. Oh, there we go. There's a fish. There we go. This one is here. It's a boot. It's called a boot. Uh, it uh, wasn't made for swimming. I could probably wear these if I found another boot, right? I got an idea for a DIY recipe. Wait, you can just make up your own recipes by catching stuff? That's great. Yet to forget to save had that fear instilled into me. Ah, uh, Nook was really traumatic to you, wasn't it, then? Okay. Other fish. Or bugs. Okay, that's a snail. I mean, I feel like that's not gonna work right. Oh, maybe that's what we used to catch the hermit crabs. Yeah, there we go. Yes, I caught a hermit crab. I think I wanted to be left alone. God, look at, look at the detail on that thing. You just see it squirming. I remember getting hermit crabs as a little kid. My grandma would take trips up to uh, Cape Cod and come back with a little souvenir, and I got hermit crabs a bunch, like, for a few years. Most of the time, they ended up uh, tearing each other apart. Like, one time we had, like, two or three. One day when I woke up and checked on them, one was literally in pieces. Like, each leg separated. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I caught a sea bass. No, wait, it's at least a C plus. <laughs> that's a new one. I kind of miss the C bass line though. I mean, that's a classic. You can't beat that. All right, can we go in here? What's in here? Oh, hey, Dodo. Hmm. Oh, hang on a sec. How'd you get in here? I could have sworn I locked the front door. There, there wasn't a door. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're still getting set up here in here, so, uh, no flights today. Sorry about that. We should be able for flights tomorrow, though, so be sure to come back then. Okay. The sign reads, message cards coming soon. Okay, so, nothing in here. Nothing of importance yet. Just wait until you catch some of the giant fish. Like, how big? Like, can we catch a giant squid? Just rip up a giant squid that's like half the size of the screen. Still partly in the water, we're just like dragging it up to the surface. Okay, so, uh, Nook wanted to see some of the local fauna, right? So we'll show them the, the crabs and the fish. Is there insects though? I mean, there was- when we first got here, there was like so many butterflies. Oh, another fish. Let's get him. Move the camera up. Where is he? Oh, he's like right behind the tree. This is a fish that doesn't want to be seen. Dang, I can't think of any puns for like a shy fish. Oh, he, he grabbed that instantly. Yeah, I caught a Crucian Carp. My skills are sharp. I can't carry anything, anything else. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, what do we want to throw away? Now let's get let's get rid of uh, let's get rid of the conch. I'll have to come back for that. Butterflies are more of a day thing. Oh. Oh, right, because we weren't synced up to real time yet before, but now we are. So what bugs come out at night? I actually can't think of any. I mean, the only bugs we seem to get around here all the time are stink bugs and ladybugs. Oh, how you doing, Chips? Let's talk. Hey, isn't that the hat I gave you? It looks great. It really shows off your muscle, your head muscle, Chips. And then muscle head for a second. Oh right, branches. That's what we were gonna do. We we're also gonna get branches so we can make the uh Okay, that tree's nothing. Oh. 
got bells. There we go. Oh, we're probably gonna need sticks for the workbench too, aren't we? There we go. Branch. Nope, that's weeds. Do I got now? Oh, nice, two in a row. Let's see, I think we're gonna say nine. Do I have nine? Ten. Ah, oh, one off. Let's see, the campfire is three. Let's just go for 13. Just to be safe. Okay, that's oh, 12. There we go, 13. Nice, because I feel like the workbench is going to be a lot, so we'll have ten, just in case. Shake trees with your net. Oh, oh yeah, because when I was shaking one earlier, that little cocoon came down. So probably good to quick reaction for the bugs. Ah, Kassar, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. I found a creature! Here, look at it. It's, it's uh, suffocating because it's not in the water anymore. Oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, let's show. Yeah, let's show them the first one we got. Let's go show them the red snapper. Oh, what a catch! I do believe this is a red snapper. Mm. This island can support a red snapper. Right, who knows what, what? What other fantastic creatures we might find living here? Kazard, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Yeah, sure. Thank you. I promise I'll take extra good care of your red snapper. Oh, that reminds me. We're having fish tonight for dinner, so come on over. This is no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Okay, see, I was expecting the buzz that time. Critterpedia. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for aspiring island researchers such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all the important details about the bugs and fish you catch. Yes, yes. I do hope you'll continue to fill it up with your discoveries and share them with me, too. I'll be, I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward, hmm? Can we show more stuff? Oh, another creature. Oh, let's have a look at that one as well. Show him the carp. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a Crucian carp. Have I sent this magnificent creature along to my museum cur curating friend as well? Alright. Yeah, we can just unload our inventory on him. So we can get that contract. Oh, by the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench lately? Yeah, I mean, I made two things. That's great. Come to think of it, I have seen you tinkering around a bit over there. Keep up the good work. That reminds me. I was meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? Wait, turning on? You mean it has an offsetting? I just sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood, along with the recipe to craft an axe. Yes, yes. I think an axe will come quite in useful on this island. Because so many other things are made of wood. Hmm? Oh, you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all a part of the island experience. Yes, yes. So I'm guessing we get a lot of wood if we cut down a tree. Have a nice DIY. Nook Inc. will reward Nook Miles for the number of DIY recipes you've collected. Think about that. You're earning for learning. Yes, yes. Oh, I like how they all have little... Like, in, uh, different stamp styles. Trash fishing. And cast master. Oh, well, this is getting fish in a row. Ooh. Got a little challenge going, eh? Yeah? Okay, Critterpedia. Check this app for information on bugs and fish you caught. Wait. Why does a hermit crab count as an insect? Is it just because it gets caught by the by the net? Seasonality may. Oh, it's a night it's a nighttime guy too. Oh, whoops! Didn't look at the fish. 
Crucian Carp. Basically all the time. Clownfish, all the time. Sea bass, all the time. Snapper, all the time. Okay. First axe won't cut stuff down. You need a sharper axe for that. Oh. I guess it's probably so you don't accidentally deforest your whole island. What we got? Oh, we got the axe. We got we got stone. We got bonfire. We got tiki torch. Oh, wood is separate from tree branches. Okay. There's the workbench. An iron nugget and hardwood. I see log stakes. There's the leaf umbrella. Recycle boots and a birdhouse. Hmm, okay. Oh, we could make uh, the campfire, but now I kind of want to make a bonfire because that just looks cooler. Oh, we need a campfire for it anyways. Okay. Okay, let's, let's give Nook the rest of my fish. Oh, another creature. Okay, let's have a look at that one. We have a clownfish. Oh, we, got, we put it in a nice bag. Okay. I'm going to send that along to my friend. Yep. I mean, that's one stone. I have a proper reward for you this time. <gasps> I'm giving you a red rose bag. Just a little sampling of a product we sell. Go ahead and do some planting. After a few days, you'll have beautiful blooming flowers. Anyway, give it a whirl. And if you enjoy gardening, stop by and buy more. I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all a part of the island experience. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. I found another creature. Let's have a look at that one as well. Let's give him the sea bass. Some bookshelves require books which can't be crafted. You have to buy them. Kind of sneaks not be able to craft something until item shows up. Oh. So it... Well, I mean, that makes sense. Animal Crossing always has been the kind of game to just constantly keep up on. Or at least check in for every day for a few minutes. Oh, what a catch. I believe this is a sea bass. Mind if I sent that along? Yeah, go ahead, man. Okay. Oh, remember the flower samples I gave you? I forgot to mention something. The flowers that grow will be very strong, so they'll spring up even if you just plant them and forget them. Ah, but if you water them each day, that's where the magic happens. Watering opens up the possibility of propagating and crossbreeding your flowers to develop rare colors. I remember that from New Leaf, and that being a thing. And might how you water them, you ask? Well, I just sent you a DIY recipe for a watering can. I can't warn you about giving this giving this sort of thing away for free. Why are you collecting creatures for me, Kazar? So much just part of the island give and take. Really, is a watering can, like, gonna make or break you? I hope you keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience, yes, yes. Okay, now let's give him the hermit crab, technically the first bug. Oh, Man, you just, like, caught everything in this place, haven't you? Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a hermit crab. Would you mind if I sent this creature to my friend as well? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, so I'll take extra good care of your hermit crab. Hold the phone. Someone's calling. Blathers, is that you? Oh ho, what splendid timing. Yes, yes. Do you remember the venture we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. I'm currently stationed on an island that we decided to call Entrana. Yes, yes, the local fauna are as abundant as expected, just as I told you. Mm-hmm. How many, precisely, you ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet. But I have received, uh, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Uh-huh, mm-hmm. What? Seriously? Well, that is very exciting. No? But, but you'll have to excuse me. I'm with a customer right now. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. That was my friend Blathers, the one who curates the museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. Ah, but I could use your help, Kazard. 
Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you be able to help find a spot for Blathers? We'll need a good sized space to really build out a world class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is exciting. It's all coming together. Yes, yes. Okay, I do have a question, Zen. Okay, you can change the location later. All right, you're ahead of me on this. I was just about to ask that. Okay. Ooh, a, mount of a mountain museum. Okay, well, I don't want to take up any spots. I mean, we could go out here. There's not really much out here. Oh, yeah, look, we got this nice old spot right here. So this can be the museum for now. Good place for Blathers' is tent. Let me imagine it. Oh, wow, wow, it legit is just a straight up tent. Yeah, that's good. Blathers can set up his place now. Yeah, I got a lot of fish now, but I mean, imagine that's gonna become a full museum at some point. Oh, right, we didn't go and craft any of that wood. Oh, hermit crab, hermit crab. <laughs> like he's just scuttling around in a circle. We got a hermit crab. Okay, let's get that conch. Oh, we can go sell some things, craft some things, and then get the rest of the weeds up start collecting some wood. Let's just do a little walk by the river, see if we can find any of that, that big fish again. Yeah. Left D-pad lets you swap faster. Oh. I remember that. Oh, it's just... Ah, bizarre. I think you found a suitable spot for Blathers to set up, hmm? I did. I know I can count on you. Thank you. I'll let Blathers know he can move in as soon as he wants. In any case, you just got here, so I hate to see you push yourself too far in day one. So let's go for off my nose if you want to rack up those Nook Miles and pay me back quickly. I've got a few tips for racking up the old Nook Miles, so don't hesitate to ask if you need a little advice. Yeah, let's craft. Okay, so, uh... Water can. Okay, I need wood for that. So flimsy axe. We'll make this. Always be asking that. Okay. See, so let's keep crafting. Leaf umbrella. Let's make that. Let's make this we got. Okay, can I make the workbench yet? No, that needed hardwood, didn't it? Yeah, and an iron nugget. And that needs the soft wood. Okay, campfire. Yeah, that's what we're gonna make. Oh, my pockets are too full. Okay, Tommy, I want to give you stuff. Or Timmy. I want to sell. What exactly are you offering? The uh, shell, a shell. No, not my axe. Ugh. Shell. Uh, peaches, a dollar, a clownfish. Another shell, the hermit crab, and the weeds. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Mostly garbage. Allow me a moment to just run the numbers. And done. I can buy these from you for a total of 5,480 bells. Sound good? Wow, dang, yeah, sold. Thank you. Please come again. Oh, before I forget, I want to tell you something about the fruit you just sold me. When you eat food like fruit, you'll find yourself energized with more power than you might have imagined. Has anyone shared that with you? No. What I mean is, you could easily you could break open rocks or maybe even dig up a whole tree if you had the right tool. Wait, really? Now, it's fine for you to sell me your fruit, but you should try eating it once in a while, too. Dang. I could keep it. I'll, I'll get another hermit crab to keep for nostalgia. Oh, critters. Okay, bugs. Greedy weeder. I also there's been a lot of stuff here. Don't eat the fruit yet. There's no reason to break rocks. Okay. 
Hit the axe against rocks too. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay, Greedy Weeder, Nook Inc. salutes you for the beautification efforts. Nook Inc. rewards you with Nook Miles for selling weeds. Nook Inc. is quite generous. No? <laughs> Messy lawn clippings. Okay, seller of unwanted stuff. Selling things you don't need is a great way to keep down the clutter and earn a few, a few extra bells. And in this case, a few extra miles. Hooray for your first sale. <laughs> down and out, eventually. Wait, where's the fruit one? Wasn't there a thing for selling 10 fruit? Oh, that's plant... Wait. Oh, it's selling 20 fruit. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, now let's make the campfire. Okay, now we can make the campfire. Ah, I made a campfire. Yeah, I'm good. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's let's light the smoker off ya. Yeah, yeah was, we'll set that. We'll put that down next to the campfire. The uh, real real outdoor camping. I hesitate to ask for assistance. I will. More nook miles already? Do it yourself furniture. Oh, okay. First time buyer, you won't get miles every time you buy something on the island, but your first time is special. Enjoy these miles, courtesy of Nook Inc. Full fledged consumer. Seller of unwanted stuff. So oh, we already got that one. Spending your bells on the island helps revitalize the local economy. Yes, yes. I reward you with miles based on how many bells you've spent. Invested shopaholic. Man, we're just getting so many miles right off the start. Man, we'll keep it. Oh yeah, that does. That is a lot quicker. Oh, axe. Oh, so I only get three per. Wait, so if I eat fruit, will that let me cut down this tree? No. Wait, what? Now what's that for? Oh, is that showing me how much fruit power I have? Let's clear these weeds, because you know if we're going to put down a fire, you got to be safe. You can't throw too much stuff down. It's gonna take forever to like pick weeds. Wait. Right here. That's good. Campfire with my campfire. No, not the smoker. Campfire, there we go. Oop. Okay. here. Fruit lets you dig up trees and break rocks. Can't get rid of it. Next rock you hit will break. Oh, okay. So I'll just destroy the next, uh, we'll put, we'll put the box here. There we go. It's like a little footrest if I need extra room. Okay, well I got two rocks though, so that's you know, so it's not like I'm gonna destroy. So it's not like I'll be completely out of rock. Oh wait, no, that rock went away. So I only got one. Oh no. Do I have another rock somewhere? Please tell me I have another rock somewhere. If I save and exit the game and come back in, or if I exit and come back in, will that uh, get rid of it? Ooh, fish. Saw three. Well, I know there's rocks on the other side of the river. Yeah. Fish is 
Oh, what was that? Yeah, I caught a squid. I had an inkling I might. All right, we're going on this platoon. Let me pick you up. Okay, let me look around. Okay, here's a rock. Is there any other rocks? No, there isn't. Oh, hey, hermit crab, I'll catch you. You're my third hermit crab, and you know what they say, third time's the charm. No! Okay, never mind. Immediately cursed myself. Oh, here we go. Two. <gasps> Scorpion. Oh, it wants to fight. We're gonna get into a battle here. Ooh! <laughs> well, <laughs> I lost that battle. <laughs> Ooh. Alright, I, well, I just got murdered. No, nothing too bad. Hey, Shima. Guess you're showing up just to see me get uh, massacred uh, by a, a scorpion. Okay, squid. Oh, and that's all. Did I get Nook Miles for getting attacked? Rough hewn. Okay, no, that's from wood. Ooh, faint of heart. This island is home to creepy crawlers that would make anyone lightheaded. Maybe wielding a net will make you less likely to faint. Yay, pity points. Risen Phoenix. Yeah, I can finally join in with all you guys that have been building up your islands forever. Though I'm gonna wait a little bit until I get uh, something established before I end up heading on over. And then once I do, we can have a nice stream of where we can all show off each other's islands. Or just do a run around visiting every single one. I wonder what kind of fish I'm gonna meet today. I hope they're nice. Okay. I'm not really up to chatting. Okay, is that scorpion still gonna be there? I wanna rematch. I got I gotta do another Shadow of the Colossus. But this time the Colossus wins. Okay, no, it's it's not here. Okay, so let's go destroy this rock to get rid of this fruit power. Up. I don't know what that was I just picked up. Clay. Okay. Okay, so now I should be able to fish that and be fine. Oh, is this the money rock? Oh, it is. I found the money rock, but I didn't have the shovel. So how do I get stone and the material and stuff? Full island world tour would be amazing. Yeah, I need to think about what I want my island to look like. By hitting rocks. Okay, so I need to hit rocks that aren't the money rock, and I destroyed the only other rock there is. Great, so <laughs> I can't. I don't get stoned today. Unfortunate. Hopefully, I don't need rocks to progress anything. Well, I mean, I'm only gonna be streaming this for a little bit more because Toonami's tonight. All right, yeah, why, why am I going to crafting? I don't, I didn't get much wood. I got attacked by a scorpion and that was it. Okay, I wanna, oh, I can't give you any more creatures, okay. What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. By the way, thank you so much for finding a place for Blathers to set up. Oh, you're looking for a practical suggestion, hmm? Well, I don't mean to rush you, but there is a small matter of your moving fees. And it's a little bit trip away at those is always time well spent, if you ask me. Okay, landscape, garden, yes, yes, landscaping and nurturing plants will make our island beautiful. You can also earn new miles. Okay, so I'll plant those seeds. I'll clean up all the weeds. Probably catch a few fish, get some wood, do some crafting, and that should be good for today. Where do I want to put the flowers? 
That would make a nice garden area. Uh, well, I guess I'll just do it by my place. You know. Where the... Okay, here, we'll put, it, we'll put it right by this tree. Wait, we're... Okay, yeah, well, let's do this. Let's clear those weeds. And we'll plant around this tree. Eventually, I will cut down that tree so I can get a view of the house. But for now, it, it, it's a privacy tree. You know, like some people build privacy hedges. This is a privacy tree. Okay, here, I'll plant three here. And I'll give Phoebe some. I'll give you some flowers. Oh, nope, okay, just gonna plant over there. Okay, gotta make it, uh, symmetric. There we go. Get those weeds, don't mind me. Okay, so it looks like you get three of whatever for anything. Wow, that, that's real descriptive. Oh, we got one of each, looks like, on that one. Yeah, I went through it for the sleepy eyes. Kind of describes me accurately. Or at least for now. I only got through the final week. Well, I mean, there's one more, but that's an all-day online thing, so that's literally... There's nothing to trust about that. God, why are there so many weeds on this deserted island? You know, and whoever lived here before, you know, cleaned up a bit? After work in sections. This reminded me of when I actually went, uh, like, two years ago or something. Like, what was it? Whenever Pokemon Moon came out. No. Was it Moon? Either when Pokemon Alpha Sapphire or Pokemon Moon came out, I went to my old uh, copy of Pokemon Sapphire, the original. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna catch a Feebass and send it up to my main games because that thing is really hard to catch in any game. So I I looked at the thing because I had the Pokemon guide, so I looked at the map, I'm like, okay, this is a really big area. I'll mark off each section so, you know, that way I can, you know, focus. Okay, I'll do this set of squares for like an hour and I'll do that set of squares, you know, really plan it out so it doesn't feel like such a big task. The third, the third tile in. Literally the third tiny square I, I caught, uh, I found the feedback square. So it saved me a lot of time. Kind of made all that planning a little, little uh, useless. That was fun, I caught a bunch of feedbacks, you know, just to be safe. You know, a main one that I wanted to raise into a melotic. Then a male and a female, just so I could breed more, so I wouldn't have to catch it anymore. And it kind of makes me want to go play the new Pokemon, but the, the new Pokemon are just awful. Hey, Phoebe, I know you're fishing here, but I'm going to steal your thunder a bit, okay? Oh, she's even looking at me. She's like, did you just really? Yes, I caught a loach. It's looking at me with reproach. Hey, we caught a loach. It's just, and we just talked about Gen 3 of Pokemon, and that had Barbaroach. Full circle. Oh, what's that? Is that hey, a gift. Can I throw my axe up at it? There's an audio cue right now? Wait, what does that mean? Oh no! Thank you for your service, faithful flimsy axe. Oh, the wind! Oh, you meant a cue as in for the present. The force smile, yeah, she really was just giving me a hard stare of, I just stole her fish. Island development tools is Nook Inc's goal. We need a lot of materials to make that happen. So we give away Nook miles based on how much wood you've chopped from trees. Oh, nice. We had exactly 20 for a specific producer. Trash tools. Using a tool until it breaks is proof of your hard work. In praise of your good deeds, you're getting Nook miles based on how many tools you've broken. A rascally clown. Hey, we're getting some crazy titles. Nook phone life. 
I'm used to using your Nook phone. The fact that you're reading this probably means you have. Keep using it and enjoy some Nook miles just for getting familiar. What triggered that? Just from using it like a bunch of times? It doesn't even tell me. Is that all? Yep. Yeah, we're getting a lot of... Just using it X times? Okay. So uh, it was probably 10 or something. Let's get these weeds, then we'll go make a new axe. And probably make something with all the wood we got now. Oh wait, yeah, if we're gonna make a bonfire, we should pick up the, uh, the campfire. You know, just pick it up while it's still burning, no big deal. It's not gonna, like, light us on fire or anything. Okay. I mean, that's my goal for tonight. We're not, we're not ending until I get all the weeds on this section of the island done. Wait, how much space do I have my... Okay, let, maybe let's... No, no, I can't leave a fish uncaught. I also need to get... Uh, I need to fight the scorpion. I need to get revenge. There we go. Work hard enough to get enough. To pay. I don't want to pay it off with book miles, though. Oh, there goes the fishing rod. I want to pay it off with bells. I want to, you know, do it the, the do step one the traditional way. Then I can do the rest however I feel. I need a shovel for those guys. I also just want to get her crab too. Since you put the idea in my head of nostalgia. Since I did even just speak a story about it too, just being a hermit guy would be nice. Okay. Uh, there's no hermit crabs around here. Pick up the other shell. Okay. We got the conch up here, right? Yeah, yeah, we got that. Okay, I had three stones, so I should be able to make another axe too. Oh wait, yeah, we should grab more peaches. We can get that one step for the month. You want to pay with Nook Miles because you can't do Nook Miles ever again? Well, what else are Nook Miles used for? Well, let, well, let's just see how much money I have after I get everything. It'll show me later. Okay, so Nook Miles are useful for other things besides that rescue service. How many peaches do I got? Seven? Okay. One more tree. There we go. Perfect. That puts us right up to 20. <clears throat> Head on in, make some tools. Oh, wait, yeah, we don't want to talk to you. We already know everything you want. You're not going to give me any advice. I'm good. There's a misinput here. We're going to take the initiative to explore and learn about our new island home. So please feel free to ask for help when you need it. That's what we're here for, hmm? Okay, yeah, let's craft. I think I got a space or two. Okay, axe. Oh yeah, I still got, I got plenty of rocks. Oh, I need tree branches! Okay, I can't make the rock. That's good. Let's not stick with the fishing rod, because otherwise I'll keep getting distracted by fish. Welcome, I want to sell. Okay, we're gonna sell uh, just a ton of weeds. Uh, we got two loaches, we can sell one of you. Sell the clams. And the conch. Yeah, that's good. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Give me a moment to run the numbers. And done. I buy these from you for a total of 4,170 bells. I mean, geez, if I just catch a lot of fish, I'll probably be able to, uh... You know, just pay it off with money, no problem. Tools break, just make more. And to take away the stain, you'll earn Nook Miles based on the number of tools you craft. Sweet. Creative enthusiast. Greedy Weeder. Nook Ink Salute. Oh, we are, okay, we already got one of that. Omnivorous Custodian. 
I like how you're getting multiple titles, but they string them together to actually make their own unique title set. Oh yeah, let's check my Critterpedia. Got the loach. Ooh, we're, we're on the tail end of that season for them. It's a good thing I caught one then. There's only 5,000 with miles. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, I also want to shake down the trees. Let's do that too. There we go. Oh yeah, you said to have the net out when you shake. Okay. I'll be prepared. Ooh, money. Nice, that, that tree had a lot of stuff in it. I guess we're pretty close to it, so after we do all the stuff I was saying we were gonna do. Like, if we probably water those plants, that'll probably give us something. There we go, give us those branches. Do branches fall off on their own? I wonder. Like, you know, you, you uh, start up a new day and there'll just be branches kind of scattered around nearby some trees. The way I already shook that one. Snap the tree. Give me branches! She wants to see that again. Okay, she's still fishing. I'll let, I'll, I'll let her have a piece. I think we already stole a fish from her. I wonder when new islanders start showing up. I also wonder which ones I'll get. I've only, I, even though I played, you know, three Animal Crossings before, I played uh, Wy the original, I played City Folk, and New Leaf. I mean, those are the only ones, those are the only ones I owned. I never played the DS one. But I never really got attached to any villager, really. Even though I played City Folk and New Leaf a ton. The only one I could think of is Puck, because in City Folk, both me and my brother played that one, and Puck was just, you know, a guy we got. It was like one of our starting ones, and we just... Oh, right, I got all the fish in there. And, uh, yeah, that's the only one I can remember. It was just because he was a penguin, and it was cool, and you know, we liked penguins. Other than that, I guess I'll just... I mean, I'm happy. I'm fine with any villager we got. I mean, I like that we got that Phoenix, um, that Phoenix Peacock. I mean, she's pretty cool looking. I don't think I'll go for any specific theme. Like, I know Zen, you got your whole, you know, your deer utopia. I don't think I'll, I don't think I'll unify it. Oh, there's the big fish again. Am I reading that shout right? Or am I stupid? There we go, okay. Yeah! I caught a moth, and I had a ball doing it. There's a unicorn, huh. I can shake a tree indefinitely for sticks. Oh, huh, okay. I mean, it seems doing it three times is pretty quick. Okay. What's my inventory looking like? Oh, I got plenty of spaces. Wait, how many sticks do I have? 17? Let's go for 20. I'll go for 20, and then I'll start uh, picking up weeds and chopping trees. Okay, so one more. Oh, another moth. Okay, so I can keep one and sell one. There we go. once uh, I had a moth yeah I went to use the bathroom once and like just recently which was in the past year I went to use the bathroom and there was just this mass like not like a normal moth like those like you saw like you know just the traditional moth you think of it was like this massive like black moth like you know almost looking like those ones you see videos of that have like those intricate beautiful designs to them and it's like I'm just like where did you come from and also 
Like how? This is a bathroom in like in the center of our house and there's just this massive moth in there. I mean, I, I mostly just ushered it out of the bathroom because I just didn't want to put up with trying to catch a moth and being outside at like 3 a.m. So I mainly just got into the hallway and just used the bathroom and went to bed and I, I never saw it the next day so I don't know where it went. I'm assuming it just found its own way out. Also chop fruit trees for wood. Oh, so if I chop the fruit tree, it won't get rid of the fruit? I mean, in the sense of it won't knock the fruit down like it would in other games. Because I just, I, I just don't feel like picking up more fruit. Fruit will fall off, okay. Do fruit trees give special wood? Like, will I get peach wood or something from it? Oh, look at that big fish mocking me. Is it in the exact same spot, too? Let's, uh, let's get the aerial. Aerial camera. So we can see these weeds better. Oh, uh, so was the same from all trees? Yeah, you know, let's go RuneScape style. You know, different tree, different wood for everything. You know, have every, everyone group up around the yew trees all trying to get it. And it just chops down immediately because 20, 20 bots are all chopping it at the same time. Man, I've been getting some intense feels, kind of, for RuneScape recently. I mean, well, there's one thing of... I mean, it started because I th was thinking of Fun Orb the other day. I don't know if you guys remember Fun Orb, but the, the, side project, the side project Jagex had of, like, essentially their version of Flash games. And I was thinking of it because, you know, they shut down Fun Orb, but I remember there were some people that were setting up their own game versions of it, you know, because some people, some people were remaking the games. A uh, one guy got like the source code for every single one, and he's like in the process of setting up servers for to so you could play all the games again. And when I last checked last week, he has every single player game up and available, fully unlocked, so you don't need a membership or anything. So you can play all those old single player games, the multiplayer ones. On the other hand. There are, uh, uh, it's, 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 unfortunately not many of them have a, nope, there goes that axe. Not many of them have a, a thing going on. There's multiple, uh, multiple Arcanist remakes going on. There's like a guy that has the original Arcanist code he's working on getting the game set up for. There's a person remaking Arcanist exactly, but he's doing it all from scratch. There's one person that's remaking Arcanist, but with their own kind of spin to make it its own game that is going to be on Steam this summer, I saw. It's called Wizards. If you want to look it up on Steam, it's going to be free to play. So if you guys ever liked Arcanist on Fun Orb, go look up Wizards on Steam. And then Armies of Gleenor, there's one person that's slow, I think, has a working version of it. I don't know if it's public or not. I just know he has a version that works, and there's even a map editor he included, so you can make your own campaigns and stuff. But yeah, so I was looking at all that old Fun Orb stuff, and then I was thinking of RuneScape 2, because it's like, RuneScape and, like RuneScape was my main game back in the day before I ended up finding World of Warcraft, mostly just because a lot of my friends were playing War, War, World of Warcraft, I can't speak, at the time, or moved on to it from RuneScape. And then, so I kind of moved over to, well, I played both, and then I ended up fully moving over to World of Warcraft. So part of that, too, was when RuneScape, uh, I guess went to the period most people call RuneScape 3, you know, when they did the Evolution of Combat update, which took away RuneScape's mostly simplistic, but very uh, complex and detailed combat to just typical action bar combat that every other MMO used. I feel like I went on this rant before when I was playing Breath of the Wild. Because I remember complaining about how they, the game changed with the cash shop and, you know, you could buy costumes and everyone looks like some crazy Gaia Online OC profile pic. Well, I think we got all the weeds. But yeah, I'm just kind of I'm in the mood. Maybe at some point I'll play old school RuneScape again, and I could stream that. It'd be like nostalgia. 
Yeah, look at that. We got all the weeds. Someone's wanting to get you a wow sub for summer. Might be interesting. I mean, you could with the. Ugh, excuse me. With a WoW sub, you can play both uh, retail and classic. Oh, that's something I could do. I, yeah, I remember that because I played classic and then I stopped because uh, it was coming up on school. I wanted to focus on that a bit. So I haven't played uh, the classic WoW since after what? I got to like level 10 in that. I only streamed that twice too. Okay, Timmy. Got like a thousand leads to give you. What are you offering? Oh wow, we almost have two full stacks of weeds. And I'll give you a moth. Huh, we have a lot less wood than I thought. Look at all the fine things you brought in. And done, I can buy those for- wow, only 1,000. I guess the fish are the real money makers. Monster Hunter, yeah, that's- Eventually, I will get PS4, and then we can do some group monster huntering. I wonder if the PS4 will go down in price since the PS5 is... Everybody's talking about the PS5 coming up soon. Or at least not constantly, but just talk about more details about it. Like, I saw a thing, like, the controller is going to have haptic feedback. I don't know... It, I don't know what that means, if it's like the whole smart rumble that the Switch controllers have, or if it... I mean, the only thing I can think of that is the joke off of Sweet Life on Deck, where they're playing a game and Zach is like, Yo, this game, it has a haptic suit, so that way it hurts when you get shot in-game. And everyone's just staring at him like, why do you think that's a fun idea? <laughs> like, that just sounds awful. Xbox had a conference room? I mean, it's not June yet. They shouldn't be doing it. Like, is that for their... Since they're not doing E3? Huh. I'll have to check that. I mean, I'm not really interested in Xbox because I'm not really... Oh, so they did their E3 thing a month early. Yeah, I'm like, I'm not really interested in Xbox. I mean... I mean, to be fair, come on. The only real exclusive Xbox has that people care about is Halo. Aside from that, it's just single one-off things. I mean, maybe I'll get a 360 at some point because there's some JRPGs on there that are exclusive, but I mean, that's just an old one. I don't see myself getting Xbox One or this Xbox... What is even the new one called? Scarlet or something? Or is that just the pro the like the development name for it? I don't know. Oh, let's get some Tiki torches. No, I need more wood for that. I still need a nugget. I don't know where I get a nugget from. That's probably... I would probably get that from rocks that I don't have anymore. Wait, did I make a fishing rod? I completely forgot because we started talking about the Xbox. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. See uh, just how underwhelming it is. Keeping your eye on Infinite. Well, also, the, to speak of the Xbox, that's the other thing, too, that Xbox is almost, uh, you don't, it's not even a, a necessary thing anymore because Microsoft has the things where all their games can be played on Windows 10, right? So it's like if you have a modern PC, you have no reason to buy an Xbox. Unless you're just, like, some diehard console fan that just wants to pay... $600 for an extra box. Of course, I mean, to be fair, not many people probably have a gaming PC. Or a PC that could play the game straight up. But you know, the point still stands, you know, it's just like... Anyone who games does probably has a gaming PC, so they don't need to buy the new Xbox. Gen of consoles, I'm just not seeing too much interest in. I, I can't tell if I'm watering or not. Okay, there we go. I see the water droplets off the leaves. That means it's water. Oh, and sparkles. Okay. Like, for next gen, I mean, PS5 is the only one I'd be interested in just because, you know, PlayStation, it has multiple franchises I care about, like Final Fantasy. So, like, 
Yeah, you know, we'll have Final Fantasy VII Remakes Part 2 through 7 come out on the PS5. No, no, they won't all come out on the PS5. We'll have 2 and 3 on the PS5. Then we'll have 4 on the PS6. Then we'll have 5 and 6 on the PS6. And then 7 will come out on PS7. So we can do Final Fantasy VII Part 7 on PlayStation 7. That's their 50... That's their 77-year plan. Okay, I watered both of those, so we got all the plants watered. Okay, we got Nook Miles coming. Flower Tender. Ooh, does that count only the one time, or can I do that multiple times? Like, can I just water one plant a bunch of times and have that count? Here, let's see. Ah, uh, okay, it's only once. Dang. Buy more flowers. Can I? I didn't see them in the shop. There's only the thing in the chair. Okay, let's uh, let's get more wood. Yeah, this will be the last axe I make. You know, now I'm wondering if rocks will respawn because I saw there's axe uh, rocks on the other side of the river. So the game would be like, yeah, you got rocks still. Don't, don't, you know, like, don't think we're gonna make more for you. You shouldn't have broken the ones you had in the first place. Okay, I guess I already chopped that one. Okay. You guys up, we'll, we'll just keep going with this until it breaks. Ooh! Let me in! <laughs> I mean, that, I'm assuming that's why you said go with your net out. Oh, hey, don't mind me. Don't let me wake you up. I'm just getting assaulted by hornets. Uh, those murder wasps got to our island. They got their way to Entrana. Well, here you are. Make yourself at home, chips. Lay it on me. Oh, so you can set our furniture up anywhere you like. Oh, except for in the plaza. I think we're playing together and outdoor gym. What do you think? If you got an idea, I'll get, uh, you, if you got an idea, you think we'll get everyone pumped. Don't hold back, chips. They'll respawn up to a max of six once per day. No, what I'm saying is... Well, okay, so then I would wonder... <gasps> there you are, you scorpion! Yeah! Get revenge. Well, first I'm gonna take that. But what I'm wondering is, would the rock spawn on this side of the river that I can get to, or not? Okay. I'm going at straight on. Does it charge at me? No! Oh! God! <laughs> I'm horrible at this. I always keep coming up short. <laughs> Only if I approach quickly. Okay. Okay, me versus Scorpion. I'm 0 for 2. Oh, there's a weed. I missed one. Well, I got a bees. I got a wasp nest. Ah, so it is the murder wasp. Oh! God, this he's after me now. This guy wants blood. I mean, look at that. He's pretty much waiting for me. Wait, where, where is it even? Yeah, we just turned into a. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh for three! <laughs> I was just about to say, too, it turned into survival horror. And then I immediately get killed. I like the person who says, in a horror movie, that says, you know, oh, that thing isn't real. Oh, what's the worst that could happen? And then they immediately get, like, like it's just a claw bursting through the rib cage. Oh wait, yeah, let me let me get that sand dollar in your space. Hey, scorpion. Okay, I'm I'm after the scorpion now. This is a this is revenge. Okay. I mean, he's been around a lot, so there's a scorpion on this island. He, he's a mainstay. So we gotta get him. I mean, he's gonna be around, but we'll find. Him. See, if I was a stream that put in more effort 
or if this wasn't really my first day back, I would get, I would, uh, I would start playing uh, Rules of Nature in Metal Gear for this. I mean, it's fitting. Look at the way the thing poses ready to attack as you sneak up on it. Look at this. Just knocking on these trees. Oh, okay, no more wood. Okay. We got the net now. Now we can go hunting. Let's not run. That's just gonna make him angry. It's gonna trigger him. Came closer to me. Maybe he's over at Phoebe's. I guess she's still fishing. I, I guess she's really put off by me stealing her fish. She's not gonna leave. And she's not gonna go to bed until she gets one. Okay. The scorpion's in hiding. Let's go sell that wasp nest. Buy that lawn chair too. Get ourselves a nice little campsite on the outside of our tent. What am I offering? I'm offering weeds, I'm offering a nest, I'm offering peaches. Oh, that's all. Everything else I want to keep. Look at all the fine things. Wow, only 1,000. Yeah, I guess the fish really are the big seller. Let's craft. Okay, that needs tree branch and wood. That needs wood. What do you need? Anything else need branches? No? Okay, it's just the tools. Okay, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make two torches. We'll go without that. Okay. The menus. Okay, yeah, well, I'm sorry. Does, does his uh, shop inventory ex I'm assuming it'll expand over time. Yeah, what am I even thinking? They are. Oh! Oh, you can buy more. Oh! Okay, slingshot. Yeah, let me buy that. I wish I knew the this was here. Saplings. What, what recipes does this have? Oh, I'm guessing we already have that, right? Oh, so this would be for stuff like a second character you make on an island. For like, you know... No! Ah. Okay. Other flowers, we got white, uh, we got red, tulips, medicine. Oh, I could've just bought slingshot, no, I, I prefer making it. No, it's gonna take branches, I'm, mm. Okay, a uh, lawn chair, yeah, let's buy that. Anything else look interesting? Nah, no, I'm good. I'll warn you if they already ha have a recipe, oh, okay. Slingshot. Learn. Huh, okay. Sweet, I learned a recipe for a slingshot. Okay. Yeah, let's buy more of the flowers. Ah, sell again. Yeah, let's buy another set of flowers so we can plant them around, uh, give, uh, give the koala some. Lyman, there we go, that's his name. I remembered it. I'll take five. Wait, no, I already have those. I want to buy the other ones. I'll take five. And then I'll take wind flowers. I'll take five. Okay, we'll try buying this, see if I already... See if I, it is the basic stuff or not. 
Oh, I guess not. And we're done. Nope, that's all. Thank you, Timmy. Okay, nothing in there. Okay, so let, let's check what the new recipes I got were. Well, first let's check what the new points I got are. Pick of the bunch, based on how fruit you sold. So especially if you're on other islands, you'll get more. You might be able to get a better price. Oh yeah, that's the stuff that we'll have to do too. We'll have to swap around all of our fruits if any of us got stuff that aren't peaches. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, oh, we got an ocarina. We got wooden toy blocks. We got a wash tub. A stone stool. A frying pan. A hay bed. Ooh, I, oh, I should have saved some of the weeds. I could replace my cot with that. Oh, the slingshot needs hardwood. Oh, okay. Let me go plant these flowers because I got no inventory space now. And also see if that scorpion's out there. I mean, I'm partially tempted to not end the stream until we catch that scorpion. But then again, I also do a lot of watch Konami. Okay, there he is. Good. That was quick. Okay. We're gonna go from the side this time. Okay, we're away from Phoebe, so we won't have a witness in case, uh... Things go poorly. Yeah. Okay. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me three times, still shame on you. But if you fool me a fourth time, there we go. Okay, I have no fool this time. We caught a scorpion. It was a sting operation. It only took us four times. Yes, we are swapping that. Uh, what do we want to get rid of? Oh, I know. I'll swap the lawn chair. Oh, I thought the lawn chair was going to pop up. Okay, I may have been getting cocky, getting real close up on him, but hey. I wasn't going to miss the fourth time. That would just be a... Well, technically it would have been the third time, because the third attack he made uh, was mostly just me uh, running up to him. Okay. Uh, okay, so I already planted the roses, right? Or the tulips. Wait, what did Tom give me to start with? Oh, I can't remember. I'll just I'll just plant like a few. Yeah, let me let me put this yeah, put the scorpion in. Okay, roses, thank you, Zen. Someone's remembering things for me. Oh, I can pull them on this box. <laughs> See, now this is cocky. I'm gonna make him watch me sleep. I'm gonna lay in my bed, staring at the scorpion that assaulted me three times. See, now this is a situation where if Nook came in to visit me and I wasn't responding, then he'd have concern. Because clearly, I am an idiot. Hoard reward. Put more furniture in your house. Nook Inc. will give you Nook Miles based on the number of indoor furniture items you have. So you're earning rewards for making your whole house a home. Interior sort. And hey, look, we got the 5,000. We're gonna have to keep a running scorpion score for the entire time I play this game. Okay, moths we can get all the time. Oh, scorpions at the very end. Oh wow, we're just in the start of when scorpions show up. Okay, so we got roses. Miss the what, there's no tarantulas anymore? Okay, so, uh, no tarantulas then. Okay, we'll plant a windflower there. Plant a windflower there. 
plant a windflower here. And I'll place tulips here and here. There we go. I'll water all of these. So, okay, so don't get spiders till October. So it's like, I, so tarantulas are fall, winter, and then scorpions are spring, summer. Okay, well, I guess then, yeah, we can keep a scorpion total for uh, the whole time I stream then. How many times will a scorpion get me? Nope. Not where you put the water. Oh, okay, I just can't reach the bonfire from there. You know, can't get around that way. Okay, I guess I'll just put the chair down here. No, I don't. Okay. Okay, pull the smoke over a bit that way. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now I can put the chair down. Oh wait, Tiki Torch. Right, I was gonna put those down too. No, oh, no boots. Launcher. Lace. I can't get in it, but hey, it looks nice. The torches. I'll put a torch here. That's the camping experience. Tried a few... Worst track record with wasps. Tried a few tricks to catch them with the net while running. That didn't work out. Ooh. Yeah, you want to be careful with those wasps, Shima, you know. With those murder hornets going around. Okay, looks like Phoebe went in. I wonder, did she catch a fish? Let's check in on her. Hey, Phoebe. Make yourself at home, okay? Let's talk. You ever run out of something you need? Timmy's is the place to go to buy more. Also, buy up your spare lumber and weeds in case you're strapped for bells. He's totally upfront with his prices, too, so it's real easy to work out a deal, Sparky. Alright. Also, Autumn said I ain't shit until I've caught spiders and scorpions in Wild World. Was that the DS one? That is the only one I have never played or owned. They were even more terrifying. How? How so? Describe the describe them to me. Okay, so I already gave her I gave her roses, so I'll give her two tulips. There we go. Put two up there. Two up there. Okay, yeah, let's pull a rose right in front of the door. Oh, that's not exactly what I want to play. Okay, we'll put one right here too. Just so it's kind of symmetrical. Yep, watering the river. Smart. He just beelined. Oh, that's that's awful. It was just something to punish you for playing too late. Huh, really? You think that wouldn't be a thing for Animal Crossing because there's, you know, certain events that only work when you're playing late. Or you know, only things that happen late at night. Okay, now let's give you some, uh, beautification. Okay, plant a rose there. 
Okay, that's not where I wanted to put it. God, this is gonna irritate me super hard now with this extra row that's not just fitting in with the pattern. Okay, so watering cans can just explode by pouring water out. Good to know. Isn't a thing anymore, but they weren't as nice then. Animal Crossing had Animal Strip and Salt U. I remember hearing something about that, how over time the animals became really nice because in the, and that the original, the you would have animals that would actually be insulting or you know, kind of mean. Which, that, that would be interesting, you know, I, that's like, kind of makes it feel more like an actual town. You know, you just have that, you know, kind of grumpy neighbor, you know, get that Mr. Wilson to your Dennis the Menace. Get your, uh, where, where, where are some other neighbors? I can't think of any more grumpy neighbors. Get your con to your Hank Hill. There we go. There's one. And, and all you get now is your Homer and everyone else's Ned Flanders. Okay, plant the wildflowers. Or windflowers. How about you visit? I'm going to after I plant these flowers. Zen, planting flowers is a very in-depth process. No, you got you gotta carefully place them except when the tent placement screws up the grid for some reason because the game won't show you the tile settings. There we go. Everything planted. Now right, let's check my nook miles. Flower power. But oh, excuse me. Planting flowers makes our island more beautiful and you can earn miles. So, grow wild, yes, yes. Now, does this count only for planting, or does it uh, affect, you know, when they spread because you water them a bunch? Encourage floral gr growth by showering the island's flowers with water. I'll encourage your growth by showering you with nook miles. Refined caretaker. Do I got any other ones? Nope. Oh, it looks like Shima's joining in on Animal Crossing. Okay, it looks like I did just about everything. Except, you know, going to catch more fish. Oh, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, what's this thing? Oh, how could I forget? I'll give you a brief explanation about that terminal. That is our nook stock. It is a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services, Kazar. The first is nook shopping. It's a casual and shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. Second, this terminal serves as an automatic bell dispenser, or ABD, for the bank of nook. Oh, so he's got his own book, uh, bank system now. We are also working on a service by which you be able to redeem nook miles for various things. Well, that answers my question earlier. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed. Yes, yes. Welcome to Nook Stop, a multimedia terminal from Nook Inc. Once per day, accessing the Nook Shop will Nook Stop will award you with bonus daily miles. Day one, fifty. Please select from the following services. Shopping. No. Oh! oh wait, these are my bells. Okay, never mind. I was like, oh, I could spend miles on these. Ooh, KK Synth. Maybe I could buy that. Get some music. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah, for uh, Mother's Day. Oh, yeah, because it's going to be Mother's Day in an hour, at least on the East Coast. <clears throat> so don't forget to say Happy Mother's Day to your moms, guys. What about the ABD? Oh, okay, guys, just depositing. Yeah, let's sign off. Okay, I do have a fishing rod on me. Ah, Kazard, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Okay, I guess I'll pay off the fees with the Nook Miles, just to get that out of the way. Very well, you owe 5,000 miles. I'm ready to pay. Thank you so much. Indeed, that is 5,000 miles, and I'm a mile less. 
With that, you're moving fees have been paid in full. This is a happy day for us both, hmm? Yes, yes, you're free and clear of debt, living on a thriving scenic island. What could be better? Oh, that wasn't actually a rhetorical question. Let me be more specific. How is that tent treating you? Uh, I mean, it's great. I mean, I got a scorpion. I got a scorpion, I got a cot. I mean, what more could you need? Is that so? That's wonderful to hear. I'm so pleased to see that you're enjoying your new island life. Actually, you know, I'm deciding I'm going to keep that scorpion and catch a different one to give the blathers because this scorpion and I have a grudge. Indeed, establishing a, sh a sort of utopia was one of the main aims of this endeavor. Along with profits, of course. But speaking of this lovely paradise, which you are already enjoying, couldn't it be even better? Yes, yes, I suppose the time is right to discuss the possibility of building custom homes. Now there are certain challenges to building fabulous homes in remote locations such as this. You know, materials, mostly. Challenges that do translate directly into costs, I'm afraid. But with zero interest financing and an extremely lax repayment plan, anything is possible. So, Kazar, if you ever find yourself interested in a new home, do come see me. Oh, one more thing to share. We have a Miles Redemption, Miles Redemption service for the Nook Miles you've collected. When you access the Nook stock, you'll be able to redeem your miles for lots of interesting things. You'll be sure to check it out sometime soon, hmm? Well then, I hope you continue to enjoy your getaway package life. Sweet. Oh, so that doesn't upgrade our home. It just now gives us the option to actually upgrade the home later. Okay, so what miles did we get for that? Moving fees paid. Thank you for paying all your fees to, for moving to the island. Take a Nook Miles rebate as a gift and give yourself a nice pat on the back, hmm? Okay. Autonomous life. Oh, we got 10% back. That's kind of a good deal. Welcome to Nook Stop, a multimedia terminal from Nook Inc. Notification, your account is now registered for Miles Redemption Services. We hope you continue to enjoy many benefits of the Nook Mileage Program. Thank you. It was Nook Miles give me. A ticket? Special tour. Acquire airport for details. Pretty good tool recipes. Only Nook Miles Plus members. Home contracts. Oh, okay, so. Oh, there's the more hair. Custom Design Pro Editor. We get Nook's outfits. Oh, that is a bandana for, for a second. I thought I was like, is that just a t-shirt they put on your head? Wait, socks? and sl You can customize your socks? Oh, we get wall flooring, rug. Oh, wait, no, there's more stuff. I didn't see those side menus. Pocket organization is super needed. Wait. Oh, pocket organization guy. Oh, and the tool ring. Oh, this is just the same, but just sorting it out. Okay. Okay, nook shopping. Terry cloth do rag. Okay, well, I want to get the song. Or has been placed, shortly delivered through mail, and we'll, we'll get the mug. Now let's just, you know, just be nice. So wait, so when can we, uh, you know, talk to him about getting the house set up? Do we do that now, or do I have to wait till tomorrow in time? Shop to it. Living on a remote island doesn't mean you have to go without life's luxuries. Shop to your heart's content with Nook shopping. You'll earn Nook miles. Internet surfer. Right now? Okay. Man, really making a lot of progression. I find it interesting, though, that they actually have things segmented off by days. So I feel like in every other Animal Crossing, you've kind of just been able to just get right to it and play and just progress however much you want. Ah, Kazar, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. So about my home. Oh, Kazar! Have you made a decision about home ownership? 
Ready to move forward into comfort and luxury? As fun as living in a tent may be, a house gives you more space and helps you put down roots. Now, building a house means taking out a new loan in the amount of 98,000 bells. So what do you think? Ready to build your own home sweet home? Uh, yeah. Others will be like this too, like upgrade- okay. Thank you for your business. I'll get construction started right away. Right away, you get to choose from eight different colors for the roof. Please select the roof color from this list. Let's see. Pink, red, pink, yellow, black. Blue, aqua, green, purple. Let's go blue. Okay, you'll have a blue roof. Get that order in for you. Yes, yes. Oh, one more thing. Homeowners get automatic Nook Mileage Program upgrade. Just give me one moment, hmm? Yes, yes. There we go. We've updated your program membership details, Kazar. Now we use Nook Miles app. You'll have access to all the Nook Miles Plus benefits. Nook Miles Plus includes a nifty way to earn additional miles for special circumstances. You'll see the details when you launch the app. So please give it a look when you can. This is all from me. Your wonderful new home should be ready tomorrow. Quite exciting, yes? So what should I do now? Yes, yes, that is the question. Well, your lovely future home is already un under construction, so perhaps it's time to start thinking about furnishing them. Yeah, I humbly suggest checking out Nook Shopping at the Nook Stop. Okay. So does that mean other people, all the other villages, will get uh, their houses now too and they won't be in tents? Congratulations on upgrading to the Nook Miles Plus program. With this upgrade, you'll have access to even more redemption options. We hope you continue to enjoy the many benefits of Nook Mileage Program. Thank you. Okay, so he said look at Nook Shopping. I already ordered things from here. Should I order another thing? Uh, I don't got much money to order other things. But he just said check it out, so we'll, we'll just do that. I just checked it out. And Nook Miles. So what do these things cost? Special tour. I wonder what that is. We'll have to get more points for that. Tool ring is essential. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get the tool ring. Redeem 800 miles for the tool ring. Yes, because I think that opens up more inventory space because I can just stick my tools in there, right? The order has been printed. Huh, okay. I see, this totally makes sense. I learned how to easily switch tools. When I'm outside, I can press up to use the tool ring now. Oh, they don't. Item ring isn't more, uh, I thought it was like a key ring from, you know, like other games. Oh, uh, okay. Is there anything else I can craft while I'm here? Oh yeah, the uh, slingshot. Let's get, let's get that done. Out of the way. I made a slingshot. All right, keep crafting. I can't do the ocarina yet. Oh, I can make the wash tub. Well, made old fashioned wash tub. Oh, we got more Nook Miles. Nook Miles with a plus. Your rank has increased so you can now use Nook Mile Plus services. Nook Miles Plus makes it even easier to earn miles as you go about enjoying island life. There's also special redemption options that only Nook Mile Plus members get. Please take advantage of this amazing opportunity. Oh, yeah, look at that. All that times two up there. Do-it-yourself furniture. Here's a win-win-win situation. Craft your own furniture. Win. Enjoy your handiwork. Win. Earn Nook Miles for the furniture you crafted. Win. What could be better than that? I mean, really, I can't really think of much else. I'm getting, I'm getting paid for it. Okay. Any more? Nope. Oh. Earning Nook Miles for just earning Nook Miles. Hmm. Okay. So Nook Mile Plus, spend bells to buy items, catch a black bass, earn bells by selling, catch bugs, and catch fish. Okay. 
All right, so I think that's probably just about everything I can do now, right? Aside from just endlessly catching fish. I guess we can do that. Let's catch a few fish as we run over to our house. Talk to Nook a bit. Okay, I'll drop the wash tub on. Oh, that was squid. Do they not actually do? That was a different line! Things can give different lines now! Because before it was an inkling. Okay, another fish. Only squids have that, oh. So I'm guessing maybe the inkling thing was just a little addition to reference to the Yes, I caught a dace. I hope I have some space. Oh yeah, wash tub. Where's my wash tub? See you. Oh wait, yeah, better, better idea. Let me around. Look, now I can sit down next to my fire in my lawn chair. Washing my clothes next to the fire, and then when I'm done, I can stick it into the smoker to dry. Boom, perfect. Squids have three lines. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, look. Okay. What is that new miles for? Angling for perfection. Learn how to fish is an essential skill for living on a remote island. Nook Inc. encourages all island residents who are aiming to become fishing masters. Oh. Accomplished lad or lass. Well, I guess I could catch more, three more fish to get that uh, achievement. Now, did that... Times two. Does that mean I get double the miles for doing it, or I just can, or just that I can do it twice? Oh, look at all those weeds over there. You gotta get rid of those. Ooh. Yeah, I caught a freshwater goby. Time to go bye bye. See, that doesn't really work. Wait, I walked past the scorpion. Where? See now I'm on edge. I don't want to run to try to find it because I don't want it to. I don't want it to attack me again. And the trees directly south. South of my home or south over here? Wait, how about I uh, get the net out? Also where I wore it was, so around here then. Then uh No, they they seem to stick around before. Hey, what are you doing out so late? Hey, shit, working up a good sweat? I mean kind of. I'm getting freaked out on a scorpion now. This place gets me so pumped. The breeze, the crashing waves, nature all around us. It's all off. Well, that's why John laps around the island catch bugs and fish and lift and lift and lift, and lift chips. I mean, if there's a second scorpion around, that'll be great because I can just give that to Blathers. And then keep my foe right by my bedside. Huh. I guess he is gone. See, I'm gonna say that and then watch him just like run off from the side of the screen and just take me out. Had tarantulas just run off like that before? Okay. Just fall in the river? Okay. I, I did. Ooh, coral. I did. Oh, right. The hermit crab ran off into the, uh, the ocean that one time, so I guess maybe, yeah. find another scorpion. Since the scorpions do come out at night, let's see, we got like 36 minutes until Tsunami. Oh, there's the big fish. 
He's not gonna get it. He's not gonna lose us this time. Oh wow, he's gonna oh. Ooh, what the wood? yo! Yeah, I caught a snapping turtle. How can it snap without fingers? Hey, look at this dude. Like, I like how detailed the things you catch are are now. Like, they're just these massive models. Place them on the ground. You can do that? So, like, place item? Is that what you're saying, Zen? Or would this be release? Place, okay, yes. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, I kind of want to keep that now, too. Don't know what I'll name them. I'm, gonna do, I'm just going to have a pet room in my house. We'll have a hermit crab. We'll have the scorpion. Got a snapping turtle. We'll see. We'll have a story for each. I'll have nostalgia for the uh, hermit crabs. The scorpion. We have revenge. The turtle trolled me the first time. Just totally denied my bait. Let's see, is there another fish around here somewhere? I think I just need one more fish for that Nook Plus mile. For that daily quest. Wow, where are all the fish? Are they like sleeping or something? I mean, it's only 11 p.m. Flowers over there. Oh, here we go. Come on. Okay, gotta move up a little more. It's a lot of pet items. Little box item and doghouse. Huh. Alright, so I'll just collect a bunch of uh, pet items like Mama. That's another base. Yeah, it's another base. Oh no! Okay, I'll swap it for the coral. Well, I guess that's everything I can catch then. Unless I find a scorpion. Okay, so it is. You get double the... Oh! Capture a memory. Oh, so they just keep refreshing themselves. Okay, so it's double for the first one, and then it fills in with generics after. Okay, I get it now. Wait, there's still more Nook Miles? I don't see any more. Oh, Castmaster. Catch your line carefully if you want to reel in this reward. You'll need to nab a bunch of fish in a row without a single one getting away to earn these miles. Oh, sweet. Mistakenly caught fish. Man, you know, I just keep throwing my road out. I just, I, I keep catching these fish by mistake. I don't understand. Got the fish wargobi. Okay, that's available all the time. Snapping turtle. A little in the season for it. Days. Oh, wow, yeah. Snapping turtle. That's a really late fish. Fifty in a row without messing up. Oh, and then it goes to a hundred. That doesn't seem too hard, actually. I mean, it feels like you get a good second or two of when they catch it before you know you would screw up and they would escape. I got present. Oh, wait. I don't. I mean, I don't have the space. Drop the rock. Or the boot. I'll stop with the rock, because this the rock kinda of sticks out. See yeah. Although it's the rock. Okay, what was that present? Let's open it, find out. A rattan waste bin. What is that? Whoop. 
Oh. Just a little just a little garbage pile. Okay, you know what? Here. We'll put it next to our wash bin. So that way we can throw anything we any dirt we find in our pockets. Well, a little more. There we go. Now let's see if we'll do this to take the memory. Take the picture. Oh, plus, I, I can't see the core on my TV. There we go. All nice looking. Oh, Ratin is wicker, okay. Why don't they just call it wicker then? Here we go, get 100 miles. Catch a moth. I already have a moth. Island Shutterbug, congratulations on taking your first island photo. Please do show off your wonderful photos, whether they're impulse snaps or brilliant compositions. Photogenic photo photographer. Oh, that's for the the slingshot presence. You can display furniture outside, right? Well, here's a little incentive to, for you to show off what you got. Oh, excuse me. You'll earn Nook Miles based on the number of furniture items you set up outside. But only once. Outdoor loving decorating fiend. Actually, let me just quickly, uh... Change my title. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go with internet... There we go, we're internet phoenix. So we've risen back into streaming. This will be a regular thing now. I mean, it's not like nothing else. Ooh, big fish. Maybe that's another snapping turtle. Ah, uh, Phoebe, you went to bed too early. Look what you missed out on. Oh, it's a cat. Yeah, I caught a black bass, the most metal of all fish. Oh, hey, we had a Nook Miles thing for that. See, look at that. Got 400 miles. What's this? Sell fruit. Critterpedia. Fill, fill in your Critterpedia with fish and earn miles along the way. Can you category, categorize each and every type of fish that swims in your island's waters? Hmm? I wonder, do you think they'll add more fish and insects with, you know, DLC? Or, you know, free DLC? I mean, if they're making events uh, have to be patched and stuff like that, makes you wonder if they'll expand on the stuff you can get and do. Okay, now let's go talk to Nook. Sorry, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. About tomorrow? Yes, I think your home will be ready by tomorrow. I'm so excited for you. Okay, let's see what the life is. What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. Well, your lovely future home is already under construction, so perhaps it's time to start thinking about furnishings. I always suggest book shopping? Okay. I'll just buy something cheap off of here. Uh, what should we buy? Uh, like, let's, let's buy the do rag. Why not? Okay, Nook, I used your store. Are you gonna tell me for next? Use your other store. Well, your other future home is already destruction, so I'm gonna start thinking about furnishings. Okay, I guess I've hit everything that I can do, at least for now. I could sell one of these daces, so I could pick that stone back up. Oh wait, I got extra squid too. Okay, yeah, I can 
Sell these to pick up that piece of coral and that stone. Not leave litter around. Five levels for you for a total of 740. Okay, wow, yeah, fishing isn't as lucrative as I thought it was. Or at least those two fish aren't. Alright, so yeah, I think we'll... Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so first we need to find where that coral was. We need to watch ourselves in case there's a scorpion around. Oh yeah, if I was fishing, it would be around the edge somewhere, right? Is that it? No, that's already on the beach. Or maybe that was it. Yeah, maybe. I think it was. Okay, let's go back and pick it up. Because we already picked it up before. I need to get shovel at some point so I can get one of those snails or plants or whatever it is that's squirting. I swear I better not run to a scorpion. Rock. Okay, no scorpions. We're not gonna second guy. Found an extra weed. And I'll just drop it back now. Dang, these weeds are just cropping up like weeds. A big fish up north. Well, we'll pass on that. It's probably another snapping turtle. Now look at you. Just gonna anger him. Smack the tank. Smack the tank. Okay, snapping turtle. Oh, let me back up a bit. I thought it just shoved me back a little. He's. <laughs> it's my guard turtle. You know, when you come in, you gotta... Now I want to get two. So I can put, you know, like one here. And then one on the other side, you know, just... Looking the other way. So guard turtles. Guard turtles for your, uh, place. Oh, I can't get in my bed. Okay, whatever. Wait. I got an idea. Wait, no, the, yeah, the game isn't gonna, like, brick me or anything if I set up like this, right? Like, it doesn't have you in the bed when you wake up. Are we gonna wrap things up for now? Yeah. Yeah, wait, let me just... Like, when you start the game, it doesn't start you. Okay, you wake up outside your house. Okay, because I won't be like, it wakes in the bed and then, oop, you can't get out, and then you're stuck forever with the scorpion staring you down. Yeah, I think that's good. Got 23 minutes until it be tomorrow. Then have all the new stuff pop in. Save complete. See you later. I shall. Ah, oh, that was nice. Getting started off in Animal Crossing. We're making progress. And we got a scorpion. Why is... Okay. I was like, why is it a black screen? What's going on? Classic saying where it just overviews your villagers. What is that? Is that a little picnic basket? I'm curious. I just want to check settings for a second. Hello, Kazard. This is where I take on important requests related to settings. The requests I accept here are very serious ones, so children should get help from a parent or guardian. Okay, let me go find one. Now, what things would you like to talk about today? No clink. Of course, of course. Are you connected to the internet to accept with no clink access? Yeah, what, what is that? Game specific service developed by Nook Inc. for the Nintendo Switch Online app. Click. Oh, okay, so it's just connecting. It's for smart devices. Okay, yeah, I, I don't have a smart device, so this is... Okay, yeah, that's, that's nothing to me. Alright, so yeah, I think with that, we'll end. That was nice. 
yeah, with this, we'll be getting back to streaming more regularly, not just every, you know, once a month or every three weeks or so when we feel like playing Monster Prom. So yeah, oh, this I'll definitely be playing frequently. So yeah, this is one of those check-in games. No, oh, Phoebe, look out! There's a scorpion right behind you! It's behind the logo! Okay, uh... Alright, so we had that little survival horror moment there. Alright, so yeah, we'll, uh... Let me check out on this frequently. I'll probably play this probably a little more earlier in the afternoon, maybe? <laughs> Things are playing for keeps. Yeah, look! It, it's skulking up on her! Oh, we can't... I can't deal with this. We gotta stop before it gets her. So yeah, we'll... I'll, I'll be playing this probably a little more in the afternoon-ish. Or, you know, a little bit every day or so. Well, maybe not every. stream a lot more frequently. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Eventually we'll have that island meetup pub crawl. But for now, yeah, let's sign off. If anyone's on the East Coast, go watch Toonami in two minute, 20 minutes. Go watch some anime. And have a good night. I'll see you later.